What is up my good people, the name is Pixel Love once again and we are back again with another episode of Persona 3 Portable. Last month wasn't that interesting in the grand scheme of things. While yes, we did manage to bring Mitsuru and Fuka onto the front lines, or I guess Fuka more or less on the back lines and Mitsuru in the front lines, everything just still seemed kind of... Eh, for the most part. I only really say that just because, well, there wasn't really anything interesting that happened within Tartarus. Unlike the previous episodes where there was something, you know, to look forward to in Tartarus. No, no there wasn't really. There wasn't really much of anything. But, that doesn't mean that we're gonna go without any, uh, without any good content, any good lore, any good drama. Because if you see that, on the top right corner, we only have six more days until the full moon. Which means that things are about to get spicy. Things are about to get fucking great to say the least. I have no other word to say other than fucking. Maybe I should, maybe I should <laughs> read a little bit more, you know, up my vocabulary. Nah, who wants to do that? You guys want to see me uh, play some Persona, right? So let's get it cracking. So I may or may not have seen somebody absolutely sock the shit out of Hidetoshi. <laughs> but he's got good intentions. You know, he, he just wants to keep law and order in place. Granted, he is overdoing it a little bit. It's still good intentions. Where have you been? I have been to places where you do not want to know. Did you hear? The next operation will be on July the 7th. That means it's going to be a star festival special about interesting i don't know what the star festival is if i'm being completely honest i'll get nervous when the shadow attacks because if you do you won't be able to move try to stay relaxed at all times before yamagishi joined seas i was handling support so i was worried my sword skills might have deteriorated however i seem to have maintained my ability level that's good that's good i heard at school that the latest victims of the shadows are all couples there must be some reason why Maybe it's part of the Shadow's plan. Well, whatever it is, we should be ready for anything. You know what, maybe the Shadows, just like the rest of society, are jealous of couples. Alright, I'm gonna say it, I'm one of those people who are fucking jealous of couples. Yeah, I see you hand-holding pansies out there, walking around thinking like you're the shit. <laughs> Look, I've just been alone for a little too long, okay? <laughs> Cut me some slack. So, ever since I decided to double check exactly what was offered here in Polonia Mall- Oh, would you look at that, there's a lot more lost than I remember. Ever since I decided to double check the, um, what was going around in Polonia Mall, I just basically realized, yeah, I should really spend my time on Game Parade way more than I should be on the fucking karaoke or even the fucking Chagall Cafe. I'm so stupid, especially considering that I have all this yen that I can spend. Yen isn't an issue for me. I was just, I was just too stupid enough to realize that. Oh shit! This place actually offers a lot more than what I thought. What do we got over here? Lucky fortune quiz game. Got to go with the quiz game. That's some good knowledge right there. Yep, academics have greatly increased. Unfortunately, it's not enough to level up. But what can you do these days? You know, the more that I've been thinking about it, and the more that I've also been playing FES, the more that I'm starting to regret buying some of these enhancers. Because, in theory, I should be able to... Finally, let me open the map. I should be able to buy better equipment. And by better equipment, I mean like amps, not boosts. Right, Officer Kurosawa? No, never mind. He's still being cheap and only offering all these bracers. But where are the amps? Where are the amps? Sometimes celebrities show up at Polonia Mall at night. The girls in class were talking all about it. I don't know the details because I just happened over here. You gain information on a celebrity who appears at Polonia Mall from Sayori. Interesting. I think I know who you're talking about. Thank you very much for this information, Sayori. I will put it to good use. I'm starting to feel like Sayori may be a little bit of a pushover. Like, come on! 
Her friend lost her notes. Wouldn't you want to try saying something? I know I would. There he is. Mr. Celebrity himself. Hey, you're pretty charming. She'd be perfect for the company image. She's just a high school student. I trained her though. Hmm. Uh, hello there, young lady. Uh, how would you like to have your dreams come true? I have a golden opportunity for you. Tell me more. I'm only saying this to you, so don't tell anyone, okay? I can make you rich. <laughs> Guaranteed. All you need is 2,000 yen! And your investment will multiply by 10. No, 100. And the best part is, you don't have to do a thing. You'll become fabulously wealthy while you sleep. Just give me the 2,000 yen, and I'll take care of the rest. Well, what do you say? And it's gone. I'll be in touch once your fortune has been made. Uh, you'll, you'll soon see it, but yes, it is the one, the only, Tanaka. Honestly, me just burning that much money, like, that's basically what NFT bros do. They think they're getting a good investment, when in reality, they're not. Mutatsu is finally thinking about hanging up the good old ringer or alcohol or whatever. The point is, he's gonna become sober! He's gonna try finding his family! Good on him! However, he needs to start, you know, believing in himself instead of asking me. I'm kinda of with Junpei here. Who the fuck cares about whatever we're learning or whatnot? There you go. Global heritage, whatever, whatever. All right, let's get this charm. Let's get this charm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Still not enough, but we're getting there. You know, I almost feel bad that after all this time, I'm still ignoring Yukari. But that's the thing. I, I, it's like basically July. Yeah, it's basically July when, and uh, FES in, in my in my save file of FES, and she hasn't talked to me once, <laughs> not once. I'm more than fine dealing with the shit that I already have already. I'm sorry, Ikari. How does this man believe that the student council vice president, a girl, is responsible for leaving a cigarette butt in the fucking boys bathroom? <sighs> I get that law and order needs to be in place, but like, common sense. Hello? Common sense, people? What's up, Ikutsuki? If my hypothesis is correct, the next full moon will be on the 7th. During the dark hour when the next shadow will appear, this next operation is very important to my research. Please prepare yourselves for the full moon. I am more than prepared enough, alright? I am at the level 30s. There's not much more we can do. Well, I'm pretty sure there is much more that I can do, but not much more than I am willing to do. Because that, that, uh, that's just not going to help me at all. It's her senpai only tells us things we absolutely need to know. I think she should include us in more. Definitely. It's hard to know what's going on when she makes all the decisions. And that kind of behavior can lead to misunderstandings. Ooh, buddy. Do I... Do I know the horrors of the upper echelon keeping all the information for themselves? What if I say I disagree, though? Well... I know it's hard to imagine Senpai confiding in us, but there must be something we can do. I mean, my dad once told me there are some things that I just shouldn't know. And I remember that Mitsuru once said that as well, that being Mr. Akota's punishment. But still, sometimes a little bit of information would be a little bit more nice. But there are some things which, again, we just don't need to know. Have you heard shadows are attacking couples now? I bet they're all jealous. Thank you, Junpei. <laughs> the fucking shadows are indeed jealous. Aw, oh, what? Tanaka ain't even here. Man, that cheap bastard. He went away with my 20,000 yen. Morning. You know, soon it'll be a full moon. Are you nervous? I'm okay. Seriously? You're amazing. Thank you. I know I'm amazing. I really appreciate that. I guess we have to do this no matter what. Yeah, it's one of those things where you just kind of have to rip the band-aid right off. Or else you're just going to be sad. You're going to be depressed. Agony. Pain and suffering when it finally appears. Just get it one and done over with. And that, my friends, 
was my logic behind the ACT. And you know what? I got a 30. A 30 out of 36 on the ACT, second highest in my class. Come on now, baby. Just rip the band-aid off and just get it over with. Poor Maiko. It seems like she really wants her family to be together on her birthday. And I, I feel for her for that. Also, she did mention of a sick little man who hangs around the shrine by Sundays. Good thing tomorrow's a Sunday because I know what to do now. There's a full moon coming up. I can't wait to see what the next shadow looks like. I'm sure you can wait. <laughs> that's that's something every everyone needs to understand. They can wait. Tanaka, you fuck. Finally. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. I have some unfortunate news regarding your investment. Things are not running as smoothly as planned. It still has the potential to turn a profit, but I would require an additional 10,000 yen to get things back on track. Are you willing to increase your investment by this amount? And it's gone. I'll be in touch once your fortune has been made. You better. Sunday it is. Alright. We have no school today and you know what time it is? It's time for... I genuinely can't believe I'm giving this dickhead more of my money. Precious egg and yawn be gones. Oh shit, that reminds me. That I need to go to the I need to go to the school store every time there's a Saturday because I heard that the yawn be gone is actually hella broken, absolutely omega busted. So I don't want to lose out on that. A shadow is going to appear the day after tomorrow. I have no idea what kind of shadow it will be, so make sure you're ready for anything. As the saying goes, if you're prepared, you won't have any regrets. Damn straight, son. I don't mind if you go out, but remember that we'll be facing a shadow soon. Take care not to get sick. Mitsuru, Mitsuru, Senpai, I'm not gonna get sick. I am... <coughs> I am the defining picture of health. Thank you very much. Oh, would you look at that? They're still talking with Ken over here. Well, you guys are over here hanging out with Ken, which, by the way, I still have no clue why everyone, like, had really dislikes Ken. Like, I, maybe it's because I haven't gone that far, but, what's up, my guy? You are, never mind. From my point of view, everyone else leads a fairy tale life. Or are you a victim of sorrow? I'm normal. And I'd like you to leave. Fuck! Huh? Never mind. Hope and hopelessness are two sides of the same kind. Difficult to understand what the young man is trying to say. Talk with him, you need to improve your academics! My brother in Christ! You're joking me! You're joking me! Oh my god! Fine and be sick all you want, alright? I'm gonna spend my time here in Game Parade. I bet you wish you would you were me right now. And these are all shit games. God damn it. Using the clock to recover won't cost as much today. That's a stroke of luck. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Is this another one of those things that I need to increase my academics to understand? We did it, folks. We managed to drive him out of the bar. <laughs> In all serious, though, he's going to go see his family. He said he's going to try... Being with them, even even going so far as to get on his knees to try and beg for forgiveness, but I'm at least glad that he's finally able to see the error of his way. And, well, maybe I was sent from Buddha to help him out. Who knows? And I will gladly take this. Max Bond over here. Bestow upon thee the ability to create Chi Yu, the ultimate form of the Tower Arcana. Thank you very much, Mr. Social Link person, whatever. Chi Yu, the Warrior King. I can't wait. That's that's something every everyone needs to understand. They can wait. Actually, never mind. I can indeed wait. Here, take this. 
It's a goodbye gift. Reserve tag? The fuck is this? When you mix Cointreau with white rum, lemon juice, and ice, you get a cocktail called XYZ. Movies and manga often use the initials XYZ to symbolize the end of something. But I think of XYZ as the best. Plus, it tastes so good going down. I'll be praying that your future is XYZ. So long, kid. Watch Mutatsu walk away with his head held high. Well, that's the last we'll ever see of that monk. Yo, what's up? Tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow? Hello, it's a full moon. And here I am getting all nervous. Dude, I've got butterflies in my stomach, like right before a big tournament, you know? Now I know how Akihiko Senpai feels before he gets in the ring. I don't know about that. I mean, yeah, sometimes you do get butterflies before a tournament because, well, I've done Taekwondo tournaments before. I know what it's like. I know what the feeling's like, sort of, but it's not, it's not that bad. You'll eventually get used to it to the point where it doesn't even bother you anymore. No one is here today in the student council room. Motherfucker, come on now. I suppose if every other club in school is closed for whatever God knows reasons, I could spend time with Maiko. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you, school. Fuck you, Gekkon High. Tomorrow's the day. If we lose, then pretty soon the city will be full of the lost. Just thinking about it gives me the willies. We better win. It's all on our shoulders. Dude, I don't know if I'll be able to sleep tonight. If you want to go to Tartarus, count me in. I'm not so sure we should go to Tartarus right before a mission. Tomorrow we will test my hypothesis. A shadow will appear during the full moon. That is very exciting for a researcher, such as myself. The battle with the shadow is tomorrow. I'm so psyched. Dude, I'm not going to sleep a wink tonight. Are you better? I haven't sensed any shadows yet, so we have no choice but to wait until tomorrow. Eee. And, and Yukari being the loner and not... Come, Yukari, there's a, there's a free chair right there. Come on now, why are you all the way over there? I wonder what the next shadow will look like. Yeah, everyone's over here being like, I wonder what the next shadow is like. Ooh. Like, oh, but you know what, people? Just live your regular life, damn it. Just live it out regularly. While everyone else is worrying about becoming one with the lost and shit, I'm going to spend my time here in Game Parade. Print Club, baby! We're about to... We're about to raise the roof on this charm. Let's go, baby! And it didn't... It didn't rank up. Fuck. Hey, I got my shit. Precious egg and yawn be gone. Thank you very much. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Uh, better than ever. <laughs> Let's go, baby. We're going to have a quick meeting tonight about the operation. So please return to the dorm immediately after school. All right, all right. Oh, wait, immediately? Fuck, no. My social links. Any luck, Fuka? Just a moment. I found it. I sense a strong presence. Hey, we were right. Or so it would seem. It's located in Iwatodai, inside a building on Shirakawa Boulevard. Hmm. Shirakawa Boulevard. They've been finding the lost in pairs lately. Now I understand why. In pairs? Huh. Oh, I get it. Why? What's on Shirakawa Boulevard? I'm not familiar with that area. I've heard about it, but... 
That's where all those hotels are. <laughs> that explains a lot. You've heard about them, right, Puka? Where people go to, you know. Nonsense. They're no different than ordinary hotels. The rooms are a bit fancier, that's all. Oh, man. That's it? I don't know about this. Maybe I shouldn't go. You're just like a little kid, Yucatan. Whatever. Fine, let's go. But this time, I want a piece of the action. So, who's gonna take the lead? I don't see any reason to change leaders now. And Yamagishi, I want you to handle support during the operation. I'll do my best. All right, then I'll let you decide on the rest of the team. Let's do this. Oh my god, I completely forgot that I have to choose my team. Fuck me. How is everyone feeling today? No one is feeling great. That. Come on, guys. I'm going, no matter what. <laughs> what if I press remove from her party? What if I press remove from her party? I'm gonna go no matter what you say. Feisty. That's how I like them. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm definitely gonna add Mitsuru no matter what. Don't allow your surroundings to interfere with your objective. We're here to defeat shadows. I'll definitely add Mitsuru. We got the girl squad. All right, let's fucking book. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I could actually go with the girl squad because my issue is is that I either can go with Akihiko or Junpei but the thing is is that I have these two I have these two. I have Takemi Kazuchi which is obviously lightning based and I have Sati which is fire based that being said who do I want to screw over more I honestly kind of want to go with this girl boss uh fight because why the fuck not Actually, where is the closest place that I can save? Can I save anywhere? Can I please save anywhere? What is it? Hurry up and choose a party. Can I not? Can I not choose only three people? Don't worry. I believe in you. Be careful. All right. This is probably easily the most stupidest thing that known possible. No. It's probably easily the most stupidest thing known to man. All right, let's do this. Let's commence this up. It's too dangerous to go without full party. God damn it! Oh my god! You're not alone in the room, so you shouldn't watch the videos. Oh, <laughs> so much for trying to be, you know. I, I I just wanted to be, you know, girls' night out, you know, girl boss and whatnot. But finding if I have to choose somebody. Let's go, Akihiko. It doesn't matter where we'll be. Be at your best at all times. Let's go. All right, now we can go. We are indeed ready. I'll get ready to provide support so you can head on over. I sense a powerful shadow on the third floor. Please head there immediately. Are... What the fuck? We're already here? If we waste too much time, the daughter car won't. How the hell are we already here? What the hell happened? Oh, where are the cutscenes? Well, not the cutscenes, but... Oh, I... Seriously? Nothing? No compensation whatsoever? And there is actually no map that I can de deal with. Oh my god. Turn around. Turn around. Finally. There's one enemy. Attack. Really? You're, you're giving me these things? I didn't realize we were dealing with small potatoes like these assholes. There's no point in me fighting the shadows right now. Oh, everyone's on the third floor, aren't they? And I'm not dealing with him. He's just hes just going to be nothing. I usually don't fight these shadows because I don't want to uh, fuck up with like my HP or whatnot. Oh, I guess I already fucked it up over here. You know what? Let, let's fix that. Re let's fix that real quickly. Real quickly. God, why does it sound weird when I say it? Mm. 
All right, third floor, third floor. I don't think that's the right room. Is there another large room on the floor? That's where you'll find it. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that. Come on now. How many floors are there? Oh. That was a lot more easier. I sense a large shadow behind that door. Are you ready? Hotel Champs de Fleury. I don't know how you French motherfuckers can talk like that. Like, what the hell am I supposed to be? What the hell am I supposed to be speaking? This thing's the boss? Huh. It's more normal looking than I expected. Get ready, everyone. It's coming. Be careful. The enemy is a hierophant. Don't care. Give me a sec. Uh, let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. I could go with Rebellion. Could go to Rebellion. Let's switch to Sati real quickly. And give him a bit of a raccoon over here. He's not gonna last for long. Trust, trust me on this one. I can't really do anything with Yukari over here. How much is this? Oh! <laughs> wow. Okay. You're all Mark. Mar oh my god. Alright. We'll just go with this. And he's frozen. Oh, you're joking. You're joking me. <laughs> kind of sucks that I'm not going to be able to capitalize on this frozen uh, ailment, but you know what? Oh my god. You motherfucker! You're joking me here! Alright, you asked for it. I had all three on me! I had I had Taru Kaja, Raku Kaja, and what was the other one? Suku Kaja. There we go. And you dickhead just decided to use the Kaja on me? Alright. Alright, buddy. Nobody the Kaja's me. Nobody. Uh, I guess you can't really do much, Akihiko. Uh, Sonic Punch? Can we get a crit? <laughs> uh oh. Fuck. No, it's not that bad, right? Wait a minute. That skill seems to scare its enemy. Uh, where is my Mepatrogen? Here. Don't worry, people. Why, you little... As much as I really wanted to attack with myself, I am not... I, I don't want my party members to leave, alright? That's the one thing that sucks about fear. Is that they're pansies and decide to leave right away. No, you obey my command! Alright, come on, Akihiko. <laughs> He's almost dead. Fuck you! Actually, alright, you know what? You asked for it. Bring out who, whoever the... Don't worry. Bring out whoever the fuck this guy's name is. We got this. We got this! Easiest battle of my life. Good job. You succeeded once again. I'll be waiting outside for you. Uh, so everyone. There's a large bed in the middle of the room. How is everyone doing so far? Shouldn't we go back by now? The operation is over already. Yep, this operation was too easy. Oh, what? We're not here in the mirror? We, we can't see each other in the mirror? That sucks. Oh, it's a toilet. Can I not ransack anything over here? Come the fuck on. Oh, the door is right there! Let me go through. The door won't budge. The strong force seems to be holding it shut. Uh... Huh? I still sense a shadow in that room. It's not the same one you defeated. But where is it hiding? The mirror, come on. Hmm? 
Is it just me, or is there something strange about this mirror? Okay, I don't know where this place is. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> your turn next i'm sorry what am i looking at here whoa put some damn clothes on buddy what the hell what's going on here put your clothes on yeah you're absolutely right oh i can finally reach you can you two hear me yeah, we can hear you. What the hell's going on? I'm sorry I couldn't contact you sooner. The shadow was interfering with your thoughts. And you all got separated. The enemy is still in the same room. Please regroup and hurry there. Akihiko Senpai, can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. <laughs> um, did something happen? All right, let's go. Uh, What's wrong? Um, and about what happened earlier. Could you keep it a secret? Please? <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I never expected there to be another shadow. Its power is blanketing the whole building. I'm pretty sure it's in that one room you were in before, but it somehow sealed the door, so I don't think you'll be able to get in. I'll try to find out if there's a way to break the seal. Please join the others on the floor above you. Easy. Easiest floor of my life. Oh! I can't believe there's another one! That was the worst! Hey, were you guys okay? How about you guys? No, 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 no. You start first. You start first. We're fine. Nothing happened. I got it. It's in the mirrors. They're giving off the same energy as the shadow. Maybe the seal will vanish if you break the mirrors. I remember the one mirror we saw on the third floor was different from the others. When I stood in front of it, I felt kind of strange. Alright, well, we're supposed to break all the mirrors? What kind of mirrors are we supposed to be breaking? Move it, bozo! I'm not dealing with you. Mirrors, 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 mirrors. Am I just supposed to go in other different rooms? Oh, I yeah. am. All right, mirror. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, come the fuck on. Are you okay? I don't think randomly breaking mirrors is the right approach. God damn it! But some of them are definitely giving out the same energy as the shadow. I'll try to narrow it down, but hopefully you'll notice something too. Please be careful if you're going to break any more mirrors. I just want to break the mirror. Come on now. What does that mean? The mirrors are different. The scent of soap is coming from the bed. <laughs> hey, we don't need to check that room. <laughs> I'm more curious as to what happened with Mitsuru and Yukari. I almost feel we're wasting time. We've got to figure this out. I almost feel like I should probably add in Junpei into the mix. Or should I? Because if I do it in FES, because that, that's what I'm thinking about. If I do it in FES, then I'm already going to be the male the male character, the male protagonist. So, m might as well just keep everyone the way they are.
Yeah, this is one of the few times in which you really don't need <laughs> the cutscenes or or any of this. You're better off not watching it at all. Anyways, what is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love here and I am back with another little special. I just thought that, well, since we got to unfortunately see what happened between uh, the female main character and Akihiko in this god-awful hotel, I decided, hey, why not you see this awkward scene between me and Yukari? The real question is, is there is there a possibility that for whatever God knows reasons, I could just die over here, considering that obviously I need to get out of the mine and whatnot? Your mind is fraught with temptation. Why do you resist? Do not avert your eyes from the truth. Are you joking me? I have to do all this again? Seriously? The game wants me not to be tempted? Fine then. Eh, who cares? This isn't what I was looking for anyways. Yeah, regain control of our thoughts. However... <laughs> I don't remember that, but what the fuck? <laughs> why, why did I get a slap? She was the one who opened the door for me. Oh my god. Did you hear that, Yukari? Uh, sorry. Yeah, I heard you. Um, did something happen? No, nothing. <laughs> Sup? Come on, let's go. If you tell anyone, I won't ever speak to you again. Look, all I'm just saying is, are we really the issue? Are we? I mean, they're the ones who decided to take a shower and then just decide to go out the door. Alright. Let's see what Mitsuru and Akihiko have to say about this. So, you guys are on the first floor, huh? I'm surprised there's another shadow. Anyway, are you alright? Uh, how about you guys? Uh, we're fine. Nothing happened. <laughs> All right, pretty much the same thing as uh, last time. Anyways, why don't we break some mirrors, huh? All right, so it's not in that room. What about this one? The mirror, what would you like to do? Well, I don't know which mirrors I'm supposed to break. All right, what's the difference between that mirror and the one that I broke? Oh my God, they look exactly the same. Wait. Okay, I think I know what I need to do now. I thought it was just a limitation because I noticed that there wasn't a reflection. Okay, that one has a reflection. I noticed there wasn't a reflection in the in the big mirror, the one the the one with in the hierophant's room. But apparently no. I must have forgotten this part completely. Yep, no reflection. Eat it, dickhead! You weaken the seal! But there seems to be another mirror on the floor below you. Please find it. Uh, found it! Found it! Eat it! You've broken the seal on the door. You should be able to fight the shadow now. Really, it's only two fucking mirrors? Only two seals? Amateurs! Alright. Let's go in. If I, if I recall correctly, this should be the lovers, right? Dare you pull shit like that with us? I hope you're ready to die. We can defeat it this time. Hang in there, everyone. My brother in Christ was absolutely pissed beyond belief. It was like, all right, buddy. It was like, all right, buddy. I'm sending you straight to hell. It was the lovers, right? Yeah, it's the lovers. 
Um, what do we do here? I, I guess we should go to back to square one, Rakunda and Tarunda, right? All right, all right, all right. Uh, Garo. Please don't be resistant. He's not. Watch it. Light will work on the enemy. All right. That's actually a lot more. That's a lot more better than I thought. All right, Tarunda. Eat it, bozo. Ha! A loser! <laughs> All right, you know what to do, Takemikazuchi. Let it rip! <laughs> Come on, Yukari. You should have had at least had Garula by now. Oh well. This man is going to fall down very quickly. Isn't that right, everyone? Come on, even even Akihiko has Zoinga. That enemy seems to be getting weaker. Wow. <laughs> yeah, let's come with a full moon bonus. Say hello to my little friend. What is that camera angle? What in the world was that camera angle now? Doesn't matter. He's dead. Ribozo L. Rest in piss. And we leveled up. That's what I like to see, baby. And Yukari still hasn't got Garula yet. And I'm glad to see that everyone else seems to be leveling up. Yes, sir. Everyone else seems to be leveling up indeed. This is what I like to see. Even Fuka. That just means that Junpei is the only one who missed out. But, eh, he doesn't need to know. I'm glad you're all safe. Thanks for your help. The enemy was sly, but you did well. I did what I could. And you too. For withstanding the enemy's mental assault. All right, let's call it a night. Oh, Yukari! About that thing you mentioned the other day? You found out something? Cool. Tell me later. All right, we should head back too. Come on, Junpei, what are you doing? Hey, what are you trying so hard for? What do you mean? There's a somewhat sullen tone in Junpei's voice. Uh, right about me? I wouldn't say that, but <laughs> like it really matters. Dude, what's the matter with you? Are you gonna keep sulking because a girl got to be the leader this time too? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. What's up his butt? Thank you very much for this lovely rank up. I will very much appreciate it. Faster than I expected. That was quite a show. They've been rather busy these last few months, including their frequent forays into the tower. Their fighting style is positively fascinating. And it seems they've gained new recruits, too. Well, Jin, are they our enemy? Why don't we ask our buddy? We'll be seeing him soon. 
Yes, that's an excellent idea. Considering that he shares our fate, it would be prudent to seek his opinion. We don't have much time left. Before that, we got finals starting on Tuesday. Ah, oh, I'd forgotten about that. And that means a break after the exams. And summer vacation is just around the corner. Wait a minute. That means there goes all my fucking social links, doesn't it? Let's see here. Finals will start next Tuesday. Jeez, we just had an exam. What a pain. Well, maybe pain wasn't the word I'm looking for. English phrases are pretty tricky. Talk about comma splices. Oh! <laughs> it's Jover. It's actually Jover. I failed semicolon. It's over now. I failed period. It's over now. These two are basically one and the same. A semicolon, even though a little bit, a little bit more retarded looking, still acts the same as a period. These are two independent clauses, so you would not want to have comma splices. Therefore, this is incorrect. That is an indeed a comma splice. And it's still no rank for charm. Thanks a lot, Mr. Toriyumi. But first, I need to go to the nurse's office. Mr. Edogawa, as much as I am a badass, I don't want to drink it. But rather, I want your powerful drug. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. I just realized that's probably the reason why there was no one there was no one at all during the uh in the school clubs, yeah. Cause finals, finals. See oh you fuck. Here you go, here's your stupid medicine. Must be that powerful medicine. It looks quite poisonous. I should give it a try right now. This is special? It's a well-made drink with a smooth texture and a refreshing taste. Oh my, I drank it all. I think I can make something like this on my own, except mine will be more effective. I'd like you to try it when I'm done with it. Please take this as your reward. Thank you very much. Bring me a katana from Yabusha. Okay, whatever. Please go feed the cat! Oh. Yes sir, yes sir. I heard there's a cat which hasn't eaten in a while. Can you find the poor cat and give it some food? I will. Don't you worry. Theo, I will find that fucking cat. I like some funky school music. I'd like to listen to a song that is associated with your school. Where, the, where would I get that? Okay, whatever. I already have the platinum watch, so here you go. Ah, I see you found me a platinum watch. Such craftsmanship. It's quite extraordinary. You are fortunate to have such things in your world. It seems there is a lot I have yet to learn about in your world. Please take this as your reward. Now, what's the next thing that you have? I'm pretty sure I have one of this. A uh, homo uh, homunculus? Homunculus? Whatever. Right? Yeah, there you go. Although, damn it! He's gonna take it away from my inventory now. Shit! Those things are actually useful. Hmm? Is that what I think it is? A homunculus, an artificial creature created by man. I've heard that it lives only to die, unaware of its sad plight. A sad, terrible existence, and yet oddly sympathetic. Thank you for showing this to me. The reward for this quest is something that your friends may be familiar with. Please try making use of it. All right, an outfit for Junpei. And I guess it's familiar, but did. Was it really necessary? Okay. Funky school music. I can probably find that in a jiffy. If my memory serves me correctly, either that could mean one of two things. That could either mean that I need to go to the PA room or the music room. But first and foremost, who's a good kitty? The cat slowly started to eat. The cat is purring loudly, it seems happy. If you come back and feed it some more, it might get healthier. Alright, just need to go back to Polonia Mall. My good man, I need your best cat food. Then seems like enough. 
That cat needs to fucking survive. I used to own cats, so it's it, it's kind of in my conscience to try to help a cat as much as possible. Anyways, uh, PA room, PA room. You hear bizarre music playing inside. Would you look at that? I was right. What the heck? Gekko gone buggy? Why does the school have music like this? Must be a teacher's theme song or something. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Sorry, you have to have permission to be in... Huh? This music? I have no idea what it's for, but it says Gekko Gun Boogie on it. Huh? You want it? Are you serious? Sure, you can have it. You don't have any use for it anyway. Here. Now get out of here before you get me in trouble. Doesn't matter, as long as I got Gekko Gun Boogie, that's what matters. I see you have a CD with you. Gekko Gun Boogie. Gekku means moonlight, and a boogie is a kind of fast-paced dancing move. Oh, I get it. So this Gekku Gon boogie here, it's what you would play at an outdoor nighttime rave under a full moon, correct? That would be an interesting party to attend. Oh, the lyrics are included inside. Everyone, everybody was haiku riding. Those kids were fast as light. <clears throat> Everybody was haiku writing! Woo! Those kids were fast as lightning! Aha! Alright, there we go. I'm not sure I understand what that has to do with the moon. In any case, your award this time is something you should be familiar with. Please do not ask how I obtained it. An orange cut so. I'm very in curious as to what the fuck that is now. In any case, I can't go because... Oh, what? I can go now, but I couldn't go Monday? Alright, you cheap bastards. Poor Hidetoshi. It seems that this man that he's talking about, who taught him what sincerity is, just got preyed upon by the strong. And he does believe in this mentality that the weak prey upon the strong, therefore you need to be stronger. Unfortunately, one of those guys, but... Again, I at least know he has good intentions. It's not like he wants to treat everyone like shit for the sake of treating everyone like shit. Oh, hey. What is up, people? Sorry, I need to talk to Fuka. Uh, wanna go to Tartarus? Um, I'm feeling kind of tired today, so I'd rather not. Everyone must be tired after the mission. Please get a good night's rest. Don't worry. Oh, it's you. Look, if it's not an emergency, can it wait? I don't feel like talking to anyone. I- But my brother Chris Junpei! Oh, what is this supposed to be? What the fuck is this supposed to be? <laughs> Hello? I thought we were buddies! Itsura isn't here, so we're going to Tartarus tomorrow night. Just take it easy for now. Come on now, uh, I'm supposed to- I'm supposed to be everyone's friend here! I'm the leader! What the fuck, guys? Oh, would you look at that cheap bastard President Tanaka ain't even here either. Fine then. More game parade for me. Dog, come the fuck on! I just answered a question yesterday! Oh my... Whatever the fuck this is. Good, you remember it? It's got a very long name, doesn't it? It does. Whatever. Give me my charm. Still not a rank up! I'm losing my mind here. I'm actually losing my mind. Huh? What do you want? Don't bug me if it's not important. I'm heading home now. Dog, again. Ma max confidence strength. Max confidence! Max social link for a reason! <gasps> what is wrong with you? Why are you acting like a dickhead to me? <laughs> I'm just doing my job! Okay, someone literally just asked Sayuri out to go to karaoke and she was like, uh, sure. She's not standing up for herself! She's being a doormat! Come on, Sayori! I'm- I'm molding out of my monitor over here! Stand up for yourself! Hello? This is Theodore. I sense intense power deep within Tartarus. It seems the path that was blocked is now open. Please be careful. Have a nice day. With each full moon, the shadows are getting stronger. They are employing more dangerous attacks as well. So even though we have a lot of time until the next full moon, 
We had best use that time wisely. It's okay to reflect on your victory, but there are exams next week, so you should focus on the- Oh! <laughs> you know, I think Mitsuru-senpai spends too much time thinking about all this. She would probably do just about anything to annihilate the shadows. But don't you think that's a little obsessive? Yeah, maybe. There are a lot of old sayings about maintaining balance in your life. They also warn against being too obsessive. Or I mean like shadows are the enemy of mankind, are they not? Oh fuck, I forgot. It's good to do your best all the time, but it's not good if everyone is out of step because they're all trying too hard. Uh, how's everyone's status? Everyone can go can go tonight? Well, that is why we have Yon Be Gone! Alright, and if you'll excuse me, I am about to do something incredibly boring. And I don't know how long this will take, but if you know, you know. So I decided to, you know, fucking look up Google to see if this method works, but apparently it doesn't. It doesn't work if you're playing the female character. It only works when you're playing the male character. The people were wondering what I was doing. I was trying to save scum. Save scum in order to get a great status. But you know what? I guess we can go with good. Alright, Fuka. Let's go to Tartarus. Alright, let's do this. We got the one, the only, the OG squad. Are you ready? I am indeed ready. Let us start from floor 64. Path to the next floor is blocked. Not anymore. Something seems different about this floor. The enemy has changed too. Please be careful. Well, that's because we're on the floor of Yabusha. And these fuckers are all still... Oh, except that one. These guys are scared of me. Already scared of me. But not this one. There are two of them. Attack. All right. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Not gonna lie, these guys seem like they'd be resistant to whatever I'm about to do. So let me try it. That was a fucking beautiful crit if I ever saw one. Crit? No crit? It's weak against electricity. Oh. No. Oh. All right, come on, come on, come on. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh my god, how why am I so slow? Shit, shit, shit. Uh Takemi Kazuchi! Hey shit, dickheads! That's what I like to see. Alright, baby! And I get this beautiful level 4 wand. That's a lot of XP, baby! That's what I like to see. Oh, come on. Why aren't you scared of me? Turn around. Thank you. This is what you get for not being scared of me. Wow. There are five dazed enemies. Attack now. I feel like I need to give these guys the boot right now. Like this. God damn it. I meant like this. Oh, fuck. I mean like this. Thank you. Wait a minute. Please hit. Jeez, that one's oh fuck. Against piercing attacks. Piercing attacks. Uh okay. I don't recall I know there are some shadows that are weak against some certain physical attacks, but still, it's always weird to see them being weak to physical. Dude, come on! 
Give me a moment and I'll check to see what's after this floor. Sorry, I can't sense anything. I'm afraid you'll have to find out for yourself. Come on, Fuka. I kind of just want to find one of these golden hands and then just book it. Because that... Oh, would you look at that? Stairs are right there. Because... I, I got that metal request, the bronze metal request for Theo. And the last thing I want to do is have all my coins be useless bronze metals. Oh, I sent something powerful above you. I'm not exactly sure where it is, though. Sorry, but can you please go on th the next floor? Ugh. Somebody just gave me a golden shadow already. I want to get this stupid thing over with. Stop giving me these regular bozos. Like, seriously, I already fought these bozos in the last block of Arca. And look, they're just down in one hit. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, wait, never mind. Just like that. Okay, there you go. Hmm, I still can't pinpoint where it is. Can you go just a bit further? Every single time I'm always hearing this. Can you just go a bit further? Can you go a bit further? Like, come the fuck on. If I go further and you, you, you still can't find it out. Like, oh, seriously, people. Do these guys have like Dodge Pierce or some shit like that? Seriously. Okay, as soon as I say that, I get like three in a row. Okay, never mind. I guess we just suck. This is the, my one and only fucking chance that I get to use Hama. And it works. God. Sometimes I hate lights, light and dark skills. I hate them. <laughs> hey, would you look at that? We leveled up Yukari so she could finally learn Garula. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. What I don't understand is for, let's say, somebody like Mitsuru over here. Why isn't Bufula just... Why, why doesn't that just get rid of Bufu immediately? Or why do I have to be stuck with these two? Like, I understand, you know, in the terms of Yukari, you know, she didn't have any more skill slots left. And obviously you want to replace Gar, uh, Gar with Garula, but why not just do it immediately instead of just waiting? Also, floor 69, the funny! Huh? It's that close? I sense a strong presence on the 72nd floor. Oh my god, I'm already on floor 70 and it took you that long to understand that there was another day that there's another big dickhead above me? Okay, Fuka. You're, you're breaking my balls here. You're breaking them. Hey, even, even Junpei finally leveled up. Uh, not to level 32. It still hasn't gotten goddamn Aguilau. Ugh. Alright, here we go. Three shadows in the middle. Please be careful. Do not worry. It's not like I'm going to be fighting them right away. Because I have some stuff that I need to go back down to the first floor for. Such as... Theo, my good man! I have your greasy fucking gears over here. See, you brought back three greasy gears as I requested. All right, you know what? Let me just try. Let me just try dealing with this asshole first and foremost. I think I've, I think I've already had a little, a good lick of what Yabasha has to offer. And what the hell are these folks? Whatever. You guys are going down. <laughs> I'm feeling. I'm feeling super ballsy right here, even though I shouldn't be this ballsy. Alright, um... Fuck it, we ball. <laughs> oh my. That's not good. That's not good! Uh, I'm not gonna do it on the one who has the high hit rate. Oh shit. Hold up just one moment. Alright, I thought I messed up the audio there, my bad. Uh I I feel like I'm screwed here, aren't I? Let's let's do it on this dipshit over here. We did we did we did we did we did we did <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him, we got him. Oh let's go, let's let's go. 
We ball. We ball. All right, this should be good enough. This should be good enough. All right, come on, come on, come on. We got this. 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 <laughs> Holy shit! They're so close to dead. They're so close to dead. Uh, 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 uh. Wait a minute. Anyway, do I even want to have this on? I could probably find it on somebody else. Somebody else probably deserves it more. Uh, the XP more. Is there anyone that I have this except for Chuna? Is there anyone that I have that actually has any sorts of like guard or skills that doesn't actually suck? Oh, I guess never mind. I guess I'm just gonna get this electric boost then. All right, where is my Garola gem? Here we go. We ball. Dead. They're dead. <laughs> You guys really thought- Did you really think you would have a chance against me? You guys are mad! Whoa. That's not as much XP as I thought. Oh well. I'll gladly take it. They stood no chance whatsoever. Which reminds me. Have I actually finished all my quests over here? No, I haven't. Damn it! Still need the stupid relics and the bronze medals. Uh, I don't want to do that now. What floor is it on again? Floor 77? What floor am I on? 72? Good enough for me. Good enough for me. The enemies around there seem different now. Please keep your guard up. I got this, Fuka. Don't you worry. Besides, almost all of these motherfuckers are scared of me. So it's not like they're going to be, be much of a... Hassle to me anyways. All I just need to do is find the stupid bronze figurine so I could get their whatever that Theo wanted. God damn it, I already forgot what it was. I just looked at this. What was it? Relic fragments. Yes, that's the one that I needed. Which also reminds me. Okay, I do have the speed enhancer. Just making sure, just because Omitsunu? Yeah. Auto Rakukaja, Auto Tarukaja, plus an auto Sukukaja for my speed enhancer? An immediate heat riser? Come on now. I don't sense anything powerful near you. It might be a while before you have to face a dangerous enemy. Fine by me. Please don't let it be on floor 78. If it's on floor 78, that's gonna be a little... It's gonna be a little sad for me. Wow, I hate this game. I hate this game so much. Why is it that every single time that some motherfucker who has a weak ass Mudo skill like Mudo or Mamudo, they always manage to succeed in it? What the fuck? Like, dog, come on now. Every single time, every single time, any one of these enemy dipshits has Mamudo or Mahama, and then they try to, and then they basically succeed in killing. Uh, one more of my party members. Whereas when I use it, I always fail. What the fuck? What the actual living fuck? I sense a strong presence. It's still far away, but I thought I'd let you know. Well, we're almost to floor 78, so... Oh, would you look at that? The stairs are right there. And I haven't found any more of these uh, bronze relics or whatnot, so... I'm gonna have to go back down the little portal to floor 1, aren't I? And look at these. Th these are small ass rooms. There's no way I finished the first block of Yabusha right away. How's your stamina? I just don't overdo it, okay? My stamina's fine. I'm just more worried about that I already finished the first block of Yabusha. Dude, come on! I wanted to open the damn chest. Three. You seriously had to get in my way. Yeah, that that's what you get. That's what you get. Hey, would you look at that? Level 36 now. I'll take that. What I will take is also this chest. Oh, god damn it. Is that an airplane that I hear outside? Actually, I generally don't know what that is outside. I can't hear it. It's just a big... Mm, noise. Like, look at these puny-ass floors. This is not what I'd be expecting from a regular floor in Tartarus. The strong presence is a little closer now, but still fairly far away. It's best to be ready for anything. I suppose this floor is now where they're going to introduce me to new enemies, right? 
Come on, dipshit. Just turn around. Turn the fuck around. Okay. I have... Yeah, did, can we cancel cancel the analysis? Yeah, real quickly. Is, is there anyone over here that I actually don't know? Oh my god. Why don't... Fuku! Why don't you tell me which one is analyzed and which one isn't? Alright, you know what? Fuck this guy in particular. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Fuck this guy in particular. Alright, you know what? Fuck this guy in particular. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. But this works. Yep. They're still piss poor easy. Even after all this time. Yabba ba ba sha ba sha ba sha Yabba sha! Yeah man! Hey, would you look at that? Focus person also leveled up as well. I will say it is just a little bit weird that her persona and my and my levels don't level up at the exact same time. Because if I remember cr actually no, that also applies with Futaba from Persona 5 as well. I don't remember correctly, I think Risa is the only one who actually does it. Where her level will always be the same as my level. It seems Hamas oh. 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 Ah, uh, you're gone. A few times that I can actually use Hama and actually be happy with it. That's how sad it is. The strong presence is on the 85th floor. Please be careful. I don't know. I got like what? Four, four, four floors left? There we go. That shouldn't be too hard to manage. As long as this asshole can turn around. You know what? I really wish we could at least be able to find one of these goddamn golden hands so I can finally get this damn quest off of my skin chest whatever and i just need to i just need to find one just one golden hand and then send the medal back to theo so that way whenever i see another golden hand ooh baby it's gonna be coin alley up in this bitch ain't that right fuka only one enemy left what the fuck bro come on Oh my god, you're joking me here. Here I was trying to put praises on Hama for once. Oh my god, and it's this asshole. Oh my. Why? What did I do for my Hama to miss? Alright, don't miss this time. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh my god, I hate Hama. Oh my, this asshole's not giving me any room to breathe, is there? Is he? Alright, if one of you guys just get crit. Wow, that actually didn't do as much as I thought. Alright, third time's the charm, right? Third time's the charm, right? Oh. If you tell me that my hum is gonna hit now, I'm gonna be uber upset. I don't know what I'd be more upset. Uh, <laughs> I genuinely don't know what I would have been more upset about. The Hama working there or it missing again. At least we ended up killing him with Hama, but Jesus. I could have been really bad. Oh fuck you! No, 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 no. Not doing this again. I said I'm not doing this again. Oh, fucking. Of course. Of course I got the wrong fucking card as well. God, this battle could have not gone any worse. Let it be known that unless, unless it is... Samsara or die for me the only time I will ever use a Hama skill or a Mudo skill 
on somebody is if they're if is if they are weak to it. There we go. The only other time you'll ever see me actually using it is if I'm using like a Mahama on or a Mamudo on because I'm just lazy to take out everyone else. Fuck, not that guy. Yeah, cancel it. Can cancel it. Why do you keep putting me on no? Yeah, analyze this guy because I'm gonna do this. There's a really powerful enemy near the middle. Oh, great. It's gonna be one of those guys that have like a resistance towards everything, right? Yeah, I already see this fucker rotating his shtick. Um, I, I got I got a big enough cojones. Not to find him right now, but just gotta do a little bit of this. Thank you very much. Just do a little bit of this. Thank you very much. And we do a little bit of this. Thank you very much. All right, now now we're gonna rock his world. Let's do this. We should be fine, just the three of us. This is quite powerful. Still don't ever recall asking people what the fuck their arcana was. All right. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. You, you you just never know what, when. I know it's pointless, but still, you just never know. Uh, let's see here. Takemikazuchi. All right, my boy. Can we get a big old Zoinga on here? Zionga, whatever. That could have been really bad. What if we do an Agi? Okay, I think I'm starting to see what's going on now. I believe if my if my intuition is correct, then in theory. Oh, he doesn't reflect wind. Oh. Alright, dipshit! Fine then! D don't don't use facts and logic. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna do this cadenza right away. You never know. It's a good old Sukukaja. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, if he's gonna reflect fire and... What was it? Electricity. Uh, how about you reflect this? Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. That would have been really bad. Now, would it have been? Alright, so I guess Yukari is, is dealing big damage. Huge fucking damage. Uh, let's see here. I need. I, I I would really like it if I could find somebody with uh oh Queen Mob has Garu, but I don't wanna use a Garu. Uh let's try Buffalo with Sarasvati. I don't recall what the fuck her <laughs> her fu Oh you're kidding me here. Alright, we'll just do this. We're on support duty then people. There's nothing wrong with support duty. All right, dipshit. Oh, fuck off. Oh my god, you're kidding me here. I'm still doing this though. It's guaranteed. Well, not really guaranteed, but you get the idea. Uh, what, what do we do here? What do we do here? Uh, what we should do is... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? God, is there seriously not a fucking this poison for everyone? Also, I may have done it on the wrong person. God damn it. Alright, you're not gonna dodge strike again, are you? Motherfucker, he did! Uh oh. Wow. That didn't go well. That didn't go well as planned. Alright, I don't know if that was lightning that I just saw flash right outside my building, but that means that I just gotta hurry the fuck up. However, I do know what I need to do. It is pretty clear. Nowhere else is powerful. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that joke. Whatever. We are on support duty. You, my good friend are going to eat this debuff and you're also going to get uh 
Let's try Pierce. There's no way he has dodge Pierce, right? Wow, that barely really does anything. Uh, Garula. Oh, fuck you. Uh, Sukunda. I'd rather have you miss all your attacks. Yeah. All right, Junpei. Uh, uh, uh. Can I get? Can I get a uh, this poison? All right. Thank you very much, Ikari. You know what to do. Big dick energy. Get him on a win attack. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? But he still thinks he could do shit. Alright, this is a lot this is going a lot more smoother than than first plan. Dude! What the fuck? Do I really have to bust up the cadenza right away? Yeah, I think I think now might be now might be a great time to bust up the cadenza. Ooh, where is it? Here it is. Ha, huh, loser, eat it! Alright, the unfortunate thing is that his Sukuna is probably going to be done by the end of his turn, right? But, in theory, I should land this hit, right? Yeah! And fortunately, I do have Tarunda, so... It shouldn't be so big of a gap, right? Fuck. God damn it. Uh I I know I know what I need to do. That is already in effect as well. Fuck me. Oh fuck. This is not what I wanted to ha this is not what I wanted to happen. Uh fuck it, we ball. Another another cadenza, you know, you you never you never have too many cadenzas. <laughs> All right, uh, I should really do this as well. Last person that I need to die is me. Sorry, Yukari, as much as you are the brain, not the brains, but the bronze of this operation, my life is more important than yours. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Well, we survived. We at least survived. That's a good thing. Uh, we need to bring her back. 27 revival beads! Here. That's more than enough. Alright, Jinpei. Uh, what do you, what can you do? The Mugi water would be very nice right now. 100 HP still doesn't seem like enough. DOG! Oh my! Why, you little? This is bullshit here! Oh my fucking god! You're kidding me! All right, fine then. Want to be this kind of a dickhead? Uh, what can we do here? I'll do this. Fuck! That is already in effect. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Uh, where is my goddamn cadenza? Hey, would you look at that? You see, this is why you need as much cadenzas as I do. Or else bullshit like this is going to happen. I do not regret picking up any sub sorts of these cadenzas at all. Okay, uh, now he only reflects, right? Yeah, he only reflects. So, reflect this! I have more than enough Makara Karns. Loser! I figured you out, buddy. I figured the fuck out of you. Alright. Now, uh, Rakunda on this guy. I need him go- I want him gone! Gone at all costs. Let's do a little bit of this. Dude! Oh, fuck off! 
actually kidding me here? Oh. Fine, I'll do it again. Hey, get up. Thank you. There, eat it. For God's sakes. And we do a kill rush. We do we do a little bit of kill rushing. Like that. Alright. He's almost dead. That's a good thing. He's almost dead. My evasion rate has gone down, which you know what that means. Well we actually do need the health and we need more evasion rates, so. Cadenza for days! I don't even know why I ended up getting the agility uh, thing in my bobbers when I have cadenzas for days. If you do Zionga again, you are fuck, you are just a fucking asshole! Dude! Oh my god! You're gonna pay! You're gonna pay! Are you okay? I am okay. Uh, who's next? Jinpei. Uh, what can we do here? Let's try this. If he does fuck up, at least he's not gonna kill us, right? And... Can we do this? Oh my god, no wonder. No wonder he has dodge strikes! This guy's actually getting on my fucking nerves over here. Makari, can we please get him? I don't want to use more Makari cards. Thank you very much, Yukari. That was a lot more closer than I would like it to be. But at least I got some of Makari cards back, right? And I leveled up! Let's fucking go! Oh my god, but that entire battle was just AIDS! Holy shit! At least Junpei finally got Aguilao. It's about fucking time he does. Dear God. I don't... That was just awful. Alright, now that we got everyone healed up, is there another shadow that I have to deal with? Or are we in the clear? Come on, Fuka. You have at least told me if we're in the clear or not. How did he see me from there? The number of enemies has decreased. Alright, cool. That means we should be in the clear. Oh my god, could you move any more slower? And he went the wrong way. Alright. I'm not waiting for his bitch ass. I can do this on my own. Alright, here we go. The first block of Yabasha. It should be finally fucking over. Uh, what do we have over here? The stomps, glossary... The team leader asked me himself. I was so surprised! It's the same man who once saved my life. And you wanna know what the sad part about all of this is? That I can't even go give the goddamn document to Theo right now. Cause I have to finish these two first! Uh Oh well. I'll just do it on my own time. So, you know the drill. By the time I get back here, every single one of these guys is gonna be level thir- Not 35, god damn it, I was looking at Fuka. As soon as I'm back, everyone over here should be level 40. In 3, 2, 1... <laughs> Alright, I am back, baby, and... Before I start off with anything, I just wanna say that... I'm becoming a better editor now. Thanks to a buddy of mine, my boy Lexplay, he told me a cool trick that I could do with OBS and whatnot to change tracks with the audio and whatnot so that, so that way it's a lot more easier for me to make sure you guys can listen to the music and my voice at a good ratio. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say that I wanted to make the game audio a little bit more louder, like right now. See? It's a little bit more louder, eh? Let's say I wanted to make my voice a little bit more louder, but have the game audio be at the same level. There we go, right? That way you can hear me be like, Urgh! oh wait, Urgh! oh, you get the idea. You get the idea. 
The reason why this is good for me is in the event that let's say I want to bring up the audio from the game or I want to bring up my mic or put it down for whatever reason. There, there could be many reasons. Could be because of the dogs. Could be because I heard an outside noise. Who knows? But I can now easily do it just like that. So thank you to my boy Lex Play. Shout out to my boy. And uh, in terms of the game, it took me like about a fucking week to get where I am because look at this. Not only am I at level 51, but everyone is also at a nice, cool, and collected level 40, which I'm gonna be really honest with you guys, I don't think I should be at level 40 at section 1 of Yabasha. It took four fucking ever to get where I was right now. On the bright side, however, I was able to get uh, a good few new personas and whatnot. There's still a long ways that I have to go with persona making and whatnot. And actually, if I remember correctly, I am one level off from building cert. However, I'm gonna have to put him aside for just a bit because I'm actually gonna need Odin before I need cert. And that's level 60. But I am level 50, so... It, it looks like a lot of yen, but let me tell you, with the amount of persona making that I've been doing, that, that that yen count should have been a lot more higher. But for whatever god knows reasons, the compendium is so fucking expensive! Look at this! I should not be paying 300,000 yen for one persona! Even in four, even even in gold, four golden and five royal, it wasn't that egregious. And if I was told correctly, if I put down the difficulty, in theory, that should put down the price of the compendium. No? Yes. Yeah. Look at that. Look at those numbers. Why is the price connected with the difficulty level? That makes no sense. I'm pretty- I, did, I could be talking straight out of my ass right now, but I'm pretty sure there's no other item in the entire game that's dictated by the difficulty level. It doesn't even make any sense! You get more XP rewards if you play it on easy! I was playing on hard! Alright, you, you know what? What does Maniac look like? If I have to pay at the millions, I'll lose my shit. Okay, no, it seems like there's a cap. Seems like there's a cap. That just begs the question though, what does normal look like? What does a normal compendium look like? What the fuck? It's like four times as expensive! That's stupid beyond belief. God, I swear to god, I've never played a Persona game that's, that actually has a good merciless difficulty. The only one that comes close to that is Strikers. And that's because it adds a little bit more challenging difficulty within the battles themselves, rather than just enemy has higher hit you have lower hit and whatnot i'm not a big fan of games specifically rpgs that do that if you increase the difficulty you get less xp less money and then and then enemy enemies just only hit harder there's no there's no added strategy to that whatsoever like come on like i can understand i understand that you have to make the enemies hit harder and you have to take more damage and whatnot i believe no that's a double Whatever, you get the idea. You get what I'm trying to say. I understand why you have to do that. But I don't understand, like, why couldn't you just add anything else? Why can't you add anything else to spice things up? Other than just that. Like, it seems a little boring. And honestly makes grinding he more hellish. However, considering that I'm already at a level 50. And everyone else is already at level 40. Hell, even Fuka's in level 50. Shit, this was the last skill that she got, and it was like, what, level 40-something? 40 42 or whatnot? Because of all this, I feel like we should, ju we should just do this. And as much as I... As much as this actually feels so much useful, considering that in FES, I don't even get this opportunity. I don't even get this chance. I don't get this opportunity. I might as well just leave it at that. I'm leaving the EXP rewards as normal, though. Ain't no way in hell am I am I going to be that much of a Satan sadist and put it at less. When there comes a point in time where I decide to finally build my persona builds, 
I'm just gonna put the EXP rewards and more. Well, no, 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 no. Not the EXP rewards, my bad. The difficulty level. Because, God forbid, that I have to waste 1 million yen just by buying two fucking personas. That is... That pisses me off beyond belief. Oh, God damn it, Mr. Edogawa. Please! Shut the fuck up! Alrighty then. Who do we have to deal with? Well, not necessarily deal with. Who can we hang out with? There we go. That That's the right way to go about things. There's Yukari, which I should really should level up my fucking lover's confidant. But I'm also so close to actually finishing with Hidetoshi. Which reminds me, do I have an Emperor Persona? Yes, Ta somehow, Takemi Kazuchi was one of the only Personas that just would not give me a better Persona if I fused it with it. And it was, it was pretty much every, it was pretty much like a shitty fusion every time I tried to fuse him with something. Anyways, uh, actually, there is something I should do before going with Hidetoshi. In theory, I should probably go to fucking... Edogawa so I can get some medicine or whatnot, but I'm already at max courage, am I not? Yeah, I'm, I'm a fucking badass for crying out loud. I actually need more charm and more academics, but I'm a badass, bro! Alright, no one over here is... Yeah, there's no one missing. Alright. What do you got cooking for us, Kurosawa? Holy. Look at the... Look at that attack! Oh my god. If this is 111,000 yen on Maniac, what is it on Easy? Because I'm curious now. It's still the same. So it's only linked with the personas? That's stupid. Oh my god. There's just, there, 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 there just, there's no fucking reason for why that's a thing. All right, Kurosawa, I'm not gonna buy your yo shit today. I will get it Monday, cause that's when you give me this beautiful discount. And that's actually a lot of armor that you just gave me out of the blue. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be sad or anything about that. What about accessories? What kind of accessories? Ooh, you're already buying amps, but my god, do these cost a lot. I suppose I should buy the amps. Honestly, I, 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 I'm still having second thoughts about buying the uh, enhancers for everyone. I think I might just, holy shit. The giga bands are actually giga huge. But I, I think I might still buy the racers just because I feel like they would be better. But, we're actually here to sell all this equipment that I have! All of it! Alright, Kurosawa. Let's see how much you give me. Alright, that's only just from, well, from weapons. Only from weapons. Let's see how much it costs once I finish selling him all my armor. Eh, it's not as much as I thought it would be. I'm not going to sell anything from my accessories. I think my accessories are... Pretty fine, they're pretty goaded. The real question now... How much do I get from... <laughs> these Supreme Coins? Just selling those two precious items alone, the the two above me. I already forgot what they were called. I believe it was like a shard and a beard, whatever. Just that alone was already more than my armor. But Supreme Coin... We gotta do this in real time. Okay, that's... Not as much as I thought it would be. That's almost as much as the treasure coins that I got, which now that I'm thinking about I had like about twice the amount of treasure coins that I do have supreme coins I swear to god these golden shadows were not appearing at all And there are so many more floors where it was just dedicated to golden shadows and Arcade than it was in Yabusha But I will still gladly take 800,000 yen Thank you very much, Kurosawa-san. I very much appreciate that. And I actually got an absurd amount of gems. An absolute absurd amount of gems. But I still can't get any of these useful items. Fuck. However, 
I did use a bunch of cadenzas, so I could stock up a little bit more on cadenzas. Or I guess I could start getting some of these other uh, things that I haven't gotten yet. God, why would I get Valhalla? I heard Valhalla sucks. I'd rather get this one, Thunder Call. Also, I don't know why, but all of a sudden, just... Well, not all of a sudden. Ever since this place opened, I've only just been able to get one item from each of these things, which... In FES, I keep getting a shit ton of them, but in this one, I feel like they're asking me, Hey, you gotta use it before you get another one, which... Okay, but... Why? Oh, uh, look at that. Look at that. Wait, no. Look at that. That's better. That's much better. The King of Wands. God, how am I already out of Onyx? You're joking me. Why is this gem... Oh, why can't I get this gem more, more than what I've already had? Like, I have a shit ton of Malachites. I have a shit ton of uh, Aquamarines, right? Those Aquamarines, right? Yeah. Yeah, look how much Aquamarines I got. I got a shit ton of those too. Oh, I guess I could trade them in for regenerate, and I could retrade them in, uh, these amethysts in for invigorate. Invigorate actually doesn't sound that bad. So why the fuck is Auto Sukukaja not here? What the hell? Hold the fucking phone! That's right. Best friends is just Heat Riser. I might consider picking up a few, a few of these. Just like this much. And maybe Thunder Call as well. Thunder Call is a 100% chance of shocking foes, if I remember correctly. Whereas King and I, that's only a 50% uh, chance. Some of these skills are actually good, like Thunder Call, Best Friends, Cadenzas. And then you kind of have shitty ones like Valhalla. Or this one, Rack to Rack Rack There you go. Uh, my, my boy Rivers always pronounces, always tries his best to pronounce the names. I feel like I should at least try my best to. It, it, like, knocks down all foes, medium odds, like, no, why? Just why? Trickster, eh. Infinity, there we go. Infinity's way better than Valhalla. Artanari, like, come on. Last Judge. Armageddon! Oh wait, Armageddon is 99 Malachite? That's actually a lot more easier than I thought. Because I always get a Malachite and Aquamarine are the only ones that I always get a fuck ton of, honestly. I'm very tempted to get an Invigorate now, but... Ah. Invigorate... Invigorate is not as broken here in Persona 3. Or even in Persona 3, or in Persona 4, I already said Persona 3. Invigorate aren't as crucial in those two games as it was for me in Persona 5. The Invigorate 3 accessory in Persona 5, got it. Actually got me through everything. <laughs> and before I forget, where's the kitty? Here's the kitty. Yes, sir. The prank seems louder than it did the other day. Uh, don't, don't worry, kitty. You, you, you're going to be nice, big, and healthy before you know it. Cheap bastards never give me their fucking rank ups right away. Uh, I better go study since exams are coming up. Damn, is Junpei still salty? Like, come on, when has this man ever said he's, that he wanted to go study for exams? What was it, Bakihiko? Oh. Full song tactics. You know, I, I, I was actually thinking about this before. Considering my experience right now with the game so far, and my experience with FES, direct commands honestly makes it way too fucking baby easy. So, if I really wanted to, if Maniac still doesn't seem to be working, I will deadass just start using tactics just to make it a little bit more fun. <laughs> it's okay to reflect on your victory, but there are exams next week so you should focus on them. Don't worry Mitsuru, I got this. It's good to do your best all the time, but it's not good if everyone else is out of step because they're all trying to are. Oh, what, Fuka, are you not gonna tell me if we're going to Tartar- if we want to go to Tartarus or whatnot? I know Junpei is, is, wouldn't be even be able to come. Words, words. I know he wouldn't even be able to come, but still, you know, what if everyone else wanted to go to Tartarus? God damn it, Game Parade. Give me some good fucking games for once. Oh, come on, bro. Hey, what's up?
Uh, exams are pretty soon. Have you been studying? Not at all. Seriously? Like I care. Fucking hell, Junpei, the sh- The cold shoulder, bro! Let's see who's texting me. It's from Akihiko. Ikutsuki-san is coming tonight. He has something to tell us. We'll meet on the fourth floor as soon as everyone is back. Alright. God damn, what is it with Junpei and giving me the cold shoulder? I'll, I'll be real. I'm gonna be, keep it 100% real. I genuinely cannot remember why he's giving me the cold shoulder. Is it because he wanted to be the hero? If I'm trying to remember- I'M TRYING TO REMEMBER MY BEST! Is- is he just want to be the hero? And he thinks I'm stealing his thunder or something. I wish I could remember. Anyways, hi, Michael! You think Striped Shirt is okay? Ah, fuck Striped Shirt! He told me to fuck off the other day! Damn. She says she wants to ask her parents directly why they're divorcing. Experience, that's not really something. I'm not saying it's a bad question, but it's just not something one her of her age would understand that well. So that's what happened on the night of the 7th. It was a difficult operation. I see. They're getting tougher. But it's not all bad news. I called today's meeting because... I'm sorry. Before we go on... I'd like to ask Mitsuru Senpai something. Me? Since I've joined, so many things have happened. I went along with it without really understanding what was going on. But now I need to know. I'm going to ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, Senpai? <laughs> The bluntness! My god, the room just became 10 degrees hotter! Holy shit, Yukari! You act like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour and Tartarus. But they're related to that accident 10 years ago, aren't they? What accident? Yukari-chan! There was an explosion near our school, and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Yes. Luckily, no students were injured. But, around the same time, a large number of students were recorded as absent. Seems like more than just a coincidence. What do you mean? I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. The students who were absent, they all collapsed suddenly and had to be hospitalized. Sound familiar? You know, like the girls who bullied Fuka. There has to be an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school, so you must know something. God damn, she's bringing in the family shit. Holy. <laughs> Tell me the truth. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. It just never seemed relevant. But. It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. I'll tell you the whole story. The shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates that they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies, but what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They would be a source of unimaginable power, wouldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo. My grandfather. My grandfather was obsessed with shadows. He wanted to harness their power and create something extraordinary. Harness their power? He assembled a team of scientists, and over several years collected a significant number of shadows. He what? Damn, that's freaking crazy! However, ten years ago, during the final stages of the experiment, they lost control of the shadows' power. Consequently, the nature of the world was altered. 
You mean? Yes. Tartarus and the Dark Hour. God damn. Fuck, it's always fucking pops trying to come in, trying to be like, all right, we're harnessing time and space here. By their account, the mass of shadows they collected split into several large ones that then dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. Is that why they've appeared in different places? Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Don't tell me. That's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. Then, those students who were hospitalized... I'm afraid it's just as you're thinking. Port Island must have been an ideal location for them. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could do as they pleased. As you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekukan High School. Does that mean all we've been doing is cleaning up their mess? You lied to us? All right, I wouldn't necessarily say lied. There is a bit of truth. There's a bit of story that has been withheld, but it wasn't flat out a lie. Shadows are still the enemy of mankind, and if we don't do if we don't do anything about them, they're going to fucking kill everyone and turn them into the lost. But yes, the truth of the matter of fact is that we are technically cleaning up somebody else's mess. You knew too, didn't you senpai? They've just been using us. Or do you not care as long as you get to fight? You never said anything like that. Ooh, she bringing in Akihiko too. Oh. <laughs> This shit's getting steaming hot, my god, it's like we're in Kanji's bathhouse now, holy! I have my reasons. Think what you'd like. It was my decision not to share that information. I'm sorry. I never intended to deceive you. Convincing you to join C's was my highest priority. As absurd as it may seem, only we, with our personas, can fight the shadows. How could you? Besides, some of us were never given a choice. I... Mitsuru, don't. Yukari, it's those in the past who are to blame. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But... <sighs> it's been ten years since that incident. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. Fuck, that, that is true. I genuinely cannot remember why the shadows returned. This dickhead is connected with it, but every time I keep thinking about it, I'm just like, why the fuck haven't the shadows been ravaging for like 10 years straight? Why are we barely doing this now? Why are all the 12 of them coming out? I just can't remember. <laughs> but since they're active, at least we can find and destroy them. Do you realize what this means? What if I told you that those 12 shadows are the cause of everything? Then if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly! That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See, it's good news, isn't it? Is that true? There's evidence to support it. Now, our true battle begins. I see. Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to just wait for them. Indeed. And there are many mysteries still surrounding Tartarus. Why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answer must lie within it. Hmm. God, you know what I just realized? How the fuck were the Karijo group able to get these shadows in the first place? If the explosion in Gekukan High School was the reason why the Dark Hour and Tartarus existed, how the hell was 
uh, granddaddy Kirijo over here, like, getting his grubby little hands on shadows. How? I'm very sorry about everything. If there's anything you'd like to know about, please ask. Twelve shadows. Yes. Ten years ago, a substantial number of shadows were consolidated into a single entity. Its power was immense, far greater than any of the shadows currently inside Tartarus. Experiments were performed on it, and an unfortunate accident took place, dividing the entity into 12 shadows. These shadows only appear during a full moon. Alright then. Uh, how did the public react? In the end, over 50 people were injured in the accident, and the media placed full blame on the Kirijo group for the tragedy. They singled out one researcher in particular, declaring him the main culprit behind it all. Whether this was actually true or not was not the issue. The public was looking for someone to vent their hurt and anger on, so they chose him, even though he was a victim himself. Their wrath was unparalleled. The darker side of mankind was most certainly on display during that time. Ouch. I may have an idea of who that is, but... Still though, ouch. Why, why, why can't we put, why can't we put the blame on Granddaddy Kirijo over here? Come on now. About Mitsuru Senpai. Under the pretense that she was assisting the group, she was subjected to the experiment for many years. Do I hear a fucking car outside beeping? So Mitsuru wasn't born with the ability to summon a persona. She was forced to learn how. E. About Akihiko. I've known him and Mitsuru for a very long time. In fact, Akihiko joined us when he was only in middle school. At that time, we had a third member as well. But I digress. You seem so calm. Must be because you can do anything. Compared to that, I'm just a mediocre fighter! Junpei-kun. The only thing anyone knows about Tartarus is that it creates shadows. Other than that, we're all in the dark. Come on, Junpei, why do you have to put the blame on me? You're not a mediocre fighter, regardless. You're, you're actually pretty goaded. Like, hold on. Like, look at that strength. Your strength is does not even compare to anyone. Not even me. <laughs> Buddy, you're the, you're one of the best physical attack fighters out there. And while, yes, it would be a little bit nice if you learned a multi-physical attack move, the fact of the matter is, is that you're still pretty damn good. And also your endurance. Okay, maybe your endurance is not as high as fucking... Fuka somehow, but your endurance and your strength make you actually an essential part. Don't you ever dare tell me that you are mediocre, especially me right now. Look at me, I'm sick. I don't think I need to tell you this, but we can't go to Tartarus today. Hmm? Us? Oh, since Junpei doesn't understand what's going on, I'm going to review it with him. But if we defeat all 12 shadows, then I won't have any more use for my persona. Man, it's such an amazing power. I can't let it go to waste. Oh, I feel you there, Junpei. I may not have a persona, but it would be hella dope to have a power like that and just to have to give it all up. But to be fair, we don't know what the extent of these shadows are. Mitsuru, I've caused trouble for you. We shouldn't see each other for some time. Perhaps you should study. I'm about to review my notes now. Studying actually helps to take your mind off things. I I disagree. Highly disagree. Fuck studying. Gym all the way. <laughs> gym bro. Where, where are my gym bros at? Where are my gym bros at? Sorry, I just don't feel like talking to anyone right now. Anyway, I have homework, so... God, everyone is so down right now. Holy shit. Akihiko doesn't seem to be in his room. Where the fuck did he go then? Akihiko! Where in God's name did you go? You know, I think this would be a great time right now if Ikutsuki-san could just bust out the jokes. I think everyone needs a good joke right now. Alright, Tanaka. What are we having game parade first of all? Quiz game? Sorry. Gotta focus on academics. Academics have greatly increased. Ah, oh, come on. I wanted I wanted it to increase so badly. Oh I'll, I'll, I'll 
I wanted to increase my status. Nothing to do as usual, huh? Hmm? <laughs> Why are you here? If you came here to try and convince me, then forget it. It's nothing like that. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Huh? We've known each other for a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other friends. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. So obviously, there's something on your mind. <sighs> I do reminisce sometimes. But what's the point? Anyway, we finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the Dark Hour. No shit. To be honest, all I've been thinking about lately is getting stronger. But yesterday, someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting, huh? That's different for every person. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. Like I did. I'm not like you. Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. Well, see you around. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Yes? Can I talk to you for a moment? Senpai? Oh, please come in. Not only do you excel at providing support during battle, but also at obtaining information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble, but I do have a special favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. But very little was made public. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean, hack into their system? That's illegal. I'll give you my ID and password. You'll be free from accountability. I want to know the truth, in detail. Senpai. Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? After all, despite my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. Certainly, you must be a little angry with me. Not really. You see... My parents have an inferiority complex because all my relatives are doctors. That's why they're so tough on me. It's really hard for me to be at home. But here, I feel important, and I can help you and the others. So why should I be angry? You're right, Yamagishi. We do need you. No one can take your place. Uh, um... Thank you. I'll see you later. So, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will be gone, huh? <laughs> That's good. That's what we've been fighting for. But... So why am I 
guys so pissed. Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. Seriously. But at least we're seniors now. We won't be wearing these stupid uniforms much longer. Yeah, I've had enough of this. I just want to get accepted to college and start having some fun. <laughs> That's if you get accepted, don't forget. <laughs> I know why. I'm the reason. I was like, fighting is my duty, but hell, it's all I'm good for. If it weren't for that, it'd be worthless. My duty. What a bunch of bullshit. I can't fight worth shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. Damn it. Nothing I do is good enough. worst fears keep coming true. Am I stupid to believe in things like trust and friendship? Dad, this old letter of yours. I must have read it a thousand times since it came last spring. March 6th, 2000. To my family. Tomorrow, I bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It'll be stored in a time capsule and sent to you ten years from now. Yukari, you're so small right now, but in 10 years, you'll be 16. You'll be in high school. <sighs> I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you still always greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Karijo san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon, and... I'm happy to be receiving so much recognition for my work. But I swear to you that nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Yukari, are you remembering to enjoy life? Are you still bright-eyed and hopeful like you are now? No matter what happens in the next ten years, I hope you're happy. Well... I hope this letter brings a smile to your face. Love, Dad. I can't lose hope. For his sake. I won't turn my back. I won't be like Mom. Not ever. God, everyone with their sappy stories. <gasps> All right, let, let's let's go. Let, let's go by them <laughs> one by one. Exams are nearly here, and you are tired. Oh, God, don't fucking remind me. God damn, Aki, he go. He was giving. Oh my God, Shinjiro just went off on. Him. <laughs> oh, I I I kind of understand why he doesn't want to reminisce so much on the past. You know, because the past is the past. The present is now. I do understand what Shinjiro is trying to say. If you do not have a reason to fight, you can always just quit. But, oh, fuck. That's a, that's just a gut punch to both of them, honestly. God, not gonna lie. It kind of melts my heart seeing Fuka finally being like, I feel important. I, I'll help you guys do whatever. And, oh my god. I don't know why. That just brings me, that just brings me a smile on my face. And let's not forget... Miss Karijo herself, Mitsuru, finally taking some accountability. Well, not so much accountability, but more or less actions. I feel like she definitely should know in detail what the Karijo group was doing and whatnot. And the fact that she's finally, just finally now trying to do it, at least speaks to something. At least she's finally like, alright, let's rip off the bandage, no more bullshit. Fuka, get to work. <laughs> look, look at all this data and tell me what the fuck happened 10 years ago uh, uh like i said before I'm, i i i kind of understand what jupe is going through if you only have one thing that you're good at and that thing is about to end like 
fuck do you really want it to end that quickly? Because at that point in time, you'll feel absolutely worthless. Uh, but don't worry, Junpei. Like I said before, you are an imperative. You are an important part of this group. And don't you dare ever say you're worthless to my team. Because to, to hell with that. You are golden, my G. If you couldn't put the two and two together where Ikusuke-san said that someone within the research facility was blamed and Yukari's dad saying that Kirija-san made him head researcher, if you can't put those two and two together, I don't know what to tell you. But I'm at least glad that Yukari, even though she's the one who just blew everything the fuck up, I at least... Not only did she diss on her mom being like, I ain't that bitch, but she's like, you know what? We still gotta do this. That takes some balls, not gonna lie. Oh, God. These guys could not get any more sappier, if I'm being completely honest. Well. Alright, Tanaka, what do you got? Max safety shoes and trickster. I'll gladly take it. And do I hear some dogs barking outside? They're not even from the buildings right next to me. They're from they're from like the other side of the of the apartment complex. What the fuck? Yep, everyone here is empty. I guess with the exception of Fuka. I don't think we could go to Tartarus today. Everyone seems to be studying. I mean, I haven't seen anyone around, so they must be studying, right? I'm not so sure. Yeah, neither am I. Maybe they're not just studying. Oh, they're 100%. Some of them are taking their anger out on something. They're angry. Okay, good. So then when the exams are over, everything will go back to normal. No, I'm sorry. God, if I hear any more people yelling outside and if I hear any more dogs barking outside, I might have to cut my recording time short and I don't want to I I want to continue recording and whatnot and kitty here you go his eyes are more open now if you come back and feed it it might get healthier oh don't don't worry kitty you're, you're gonna you're going to grow up and you're gonna be goaded you're gonna be amazing you're already amazing but you're gonna even be more amazing oh come on I, I can't even go back to the dorm now, can I? Fuck! Actually, no. It's a good thing that I can't even go back to the dorm because I'm sick. I doubt that the studying will do anything. I'm honestly much better off just doing this. More charm, the better. I haven't gotten anything else. Evening. Hi, how was your day? Yep, everyone, <laughs> everyone's still gone. And you're still here, Fuka. Oh, man. I would honestly be like uber upset right now if I was like in this situation right now because I'm like, where are, my, where are all my guys? Where are all my people and whatnot? Hey guys, you remember me? I just came here earlier today. I'm back here again. I'll gladly take this pheromone coffee. And still nothing. God damn it. It's good to see you again. The feeling is not mutual. How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. So, how's life as a Persona user? It's fulfilling. Oh, that's good to hear. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all goes back to an occurrence that took place many years ago. Ten years ago, if I remember correctly. Hey. Didn't your parents pass away about 10 years ago? Man, fuck you too! A persona is like a mirror, which means a persona user can never escape from his true self. So wait, are you saying that right now, me, as in the FEMC right now, are you saying that I can never escape being a succubus, considering that's the persona I have equipped right now? Alright, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you too. Regardless, I will stay with you. Fuck off. Because we're friends. No, we're not. 
I mean, sure, I guess we're friends. Yes, R rank ten, please, rank ten, as quickly as possible. Good night. Fuck you. you recover from your cold. Let's go. Uh, final start tomorrow. I feel like we just finished exams a little while ago. What am I gonna do if I fail again? I wish the school wouldn't post our names. Yeah, that's the worst part. You get a bad grade and everyone looks at you like your dog just died. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so brutal. God, I just fucking realized what they were the exams! <laughs> Holy shit, they're tomorrow! No way! How? How am I- oh, Not that one. How am I gonna level up all the way to fucking above average? Fuck! Hey, Junpei was good. Aw, oh, man. How am I supposed to study for exams at a time like this? This sucks. There's no way I can get a good score. Well, that sounds like Junpei, all right? This sucks for me, too! Before I get- before I worry about that at all... Kurosawa-san! What's the scoop? What the hell is this? Crit rate up low? Crit rate up medium? You have to make the attack a 30% difference. Alright, I see you. You know what? Screw you, Kurosawa-san. <laughs> I have a pretty dope crit rate as it is already. I get crits up the wazoo. Alright, everyone has better equipment all around. I did decide to go buy the amps and just give it to everyone. Just because I already know that the Personas don't have amps. I know Yukari doesn't even have a boost. Not it is Junpei. And Mitsuru should technically have an ice boost, but it's definitely not. It's definitely not here. I would have to level her up even further. And Akihiko has an electric boost, so that means technically he would be probably my most strongest magic user. Just because electric boost and electric amp, that's going to be huge damage. Absolutely huge damage. And now that we have that out of the way, Theo, you don't have any other requests for us right now, right? Fuck, I shouldn't have done that. I don't have any other requests for us, right? I finished all the requests like Theo told me to. Because uh, there's no way in hell I was going to do that. And fucking record. Because that would have taken forever. This, this thing, this thing actually took me a really long time to fu fucking find. And the sad part about it was that it was a shitty sword. The sword that I already had equipped for Junpei was better than that sword. So I just sold it. And as soon as I found that sword, I found like five others of those same swords. God, that sucks. Alright, Mr. Kitty, Senior Kitty, are you here? Here's your food. The cat seems to have regained all its energy by eating the cat food. <gasps> Let's go! Contented cat. Let's fucking go! Although I will, I will be sad that I'm not going to see the cat anymore because there's no, not going to be a reason for me. Also, why is the cat just still the same? Editor, can you go find that stupid tweet and just post it over here and whatnot? Like, I want to see a bigger, fatter cat. The cat just like doubled its fucking size in FES. I want to see that. Anyways, here we go, Theo. You're able to feed the hungry cat. Thank you. I feel a relief in my very cockles of my heart. I find some similarities between you and the cats. That is why I cannot bear to see cats go neglected. Same, same. Please take this as a reward. Summer outfit for Yukari. Alright. Anything else? No. Alright, quiz game, quiz game, quiz game! No! What are you guys showing right now? Check what's showing. For those of you who want to be more courageous, no! Oh, fuck. Fine, let's try the library. Yes, let's study. I at least want to get above average. Come on. Above average? Oh, come on! Don't do this to me! Wow, the atmosphere is fucking heavy. <laughs> um, y 
you know, it's almost summer break. Do you have any plans? I wish I could go to the beach. Hot sand, cool breeze, babes in bikinis. Man, it sure would be nice. Somewhere in the south, where the water is crystal clear. But first, we have exams to worry about. Ugh, what a drag. Now, now, you'll be fine. But yeah, I'd love to go somewhere famous for its beautiful beaches, like Okinawa. Well, it's not Okinawa, but how about Yakushima? Mr. Chairman, I didn't realize you were here. I happen to be in the area, so I thought I'd drop by and tell you my schedule for next week. Mitsuru, your father will be vacationing in Yakushima during the break. He will. You'll all have some time off after exams, right? Why don't you go and pay him a surprise visit? Seriously? We're gonna go on a trip? Yes! Beach babes, here I come. Ugh, men. How about it, Mitsuru? But my father is a busy man. I don't want to ruin his vacation. <laughs> don't worry. No father would be upset with a daughter who came all that way to see him. You've all done a great job. You deserve to relax for a while. We already know when the next operation will be, so it should be fine. <sighs> all right. I guess everyone needs a break now and then. Let's do it. Ah, the beach. I should design a special training regimen. Dude, I am stoked. I have to go buy a swimsuit. Hey, don't worry. I got an extra pair you can borrow. Nice try, man. Are you going to swim too, Ikutsuki-san? I'm afraid I can't. Um, senpai? Uh, sorry about the other day. I got a little carried away. Don't worry about it. In a way, it's only logical that we go to Yakushima. The chairman said that no one who was responsible for the accident is still alive. But in reality, there is one witness who survived. There is? My father. Senpai. Yakushima! <laughs> well, that is all regarding Yakushima. Now you will all need to concentrate on your final exams. I never thought I'd be talking with you like this. You're always cracking jokes. <laughs> this is no time for humor, but I'm happy to see everyone has a smile on their face. Yakushima! Yakushima! <laughs> I'm excited about Yakushima, but that's another story. <sighs> I can't concentrate. My brain has already crossed the ocean into Yakushima. <laughs> Yakushima! Wait, where's Fuka? Damn, where the fuck did Fuka go? Did she just evaporate? <laughs> Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't see any other girls behind. Yukari, you there? I apologize, but I'm not sure my point got across. It seems like there's this wall between us. Am I making any sense? Well, I'm going to study now. Ouch. I'm sure you have a lot on your mind, but concentrate on the exams in front of you. Okay, okay, naturally. Luca seems to be studying, you shouldn't bother her. Alright. Yakushima! <laughs> I've never even been outside of the country yet. I'm stoked for this vacation! Yakushima! <laughs> Alright, if I cannot get a fucking above average rating right now, I'll be uber upset! Come on. Come on. 
Academics have increased. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh. Dude. Not cool, bro. What the fuck? Oh, my God. God. All right, you know what? If I was not going to get, if I was not going to get above average there anyways, I might as well just fucking put my time elsewhere. That is heartbreaking. Actually fucking heartbreaking. It's not like Game Parade is offering me anything else over here, right? Yeah, no, it's just Prank Club. Fine, I'll take it, but that's just saddening. <laughs> I'll take that though. You, why can't my academics do that? Man, this sucks. Oh. Hey, we got Max Safety Shoes and Trickster. Woohoo. What form of natural magic was used to find water sourcing? Dowsing. Now, please shut up, Edagawa. Some Europeans called this creature devilfish and refused to eat it. Uh, octopus. Who, like, I guess. Who established whatever the fuck this is? Whoever the fuck this guy is. What is an example of a comma slice? I went, I learned. Oh god, that is awful. I went, but I slept. At least you have butt. I was bored, but I passed. Again, you have butt. I'm smart, so I don't need to study. You have so. But and so are conjunctions. I went, I learned. Holy shit. Get that comma slice out of my fucking face. Yo, what's up? Thank God today's the last day of exams. How have you been doing? D don't ask. I can't wait to let off some steam. Don't you just love summer? I mentioned this in my Omori videos before, but I am actually not a big fan. Well, actually, I I'll take summer. I we had difficulty with the last question. Fuck you, bro. You didn't make me above average. Anyways. I'll take summer, but done, baby. I'll take summer, but I'd rather have fucking fall. The dark days of testing are finally over. The sun is shining bright. So, how'd you do? Hey, check it out! I aced PE. Let's go! People need to ace PE a lot more better these days. Let's go! Well, that pretty much answers the question. <laughs> a real man doesn't dwell on the past. I'm thinking ahead to Yakushima. Oh yeah, that's coming up soon, isn't it? Are you ready? <laughs> totally, of course not. How I fuck it, let's go totally. We balling. I guess I should start getting ready too. I guess I should be more enthusiastic, huh? Hey, I don't have practice today, so do you want to do something? What do you say? Sounds good. Where are we going? If you need to buy a swimsuit, I'd be happy to help. God, you're just like fucking him, aren't you? Shut up, please. As if. I'm pretty sure Yukari has better taste than both of us combined, so. Alright, give me a sec. I'm gonna go grab my stuff in the locker room. Oh, I'll invite Fuka too. God, I just realized me, Yukari, and Fuka, and then Junpei, my guy looks like he's got the whole harem. Sorry about the way I've been acting. Oh, really now? I was just in a bad mood, and I took it all out on you. I know it wasn't too cool of me. Well, you are a kid. Actually, no, no. I'll, I'm gonna be real with you, Junpei. It's okay. At least you fucking apologized. And you do look sincere. I'm, I will never give an apology that I'm not sincere of. And don't forget, Junpei, we are buddies. I got that rank 10 for a reason. Let's go, baby. Still back to how things used to be between us, okay? Of course. All right, let's get going. Freedom at last. What should I do now? Don't worry, I'm sure you'll think of something. Hell yeah, I will. 
Hey, what are you doing here, Akihiko-san? Ikutsuki-san called me. I think he wants to talk about a new candidate. Does that mean another person is going to join? Maybe. Fuka! What's wrong, Natsuki-chan? Do you think you can stay after school with me for a mandatory study session? There's like no one... Oh, you're going back to your home home today, huh? Okay, then never mind. Hey, wait! It's all right, let's go! Sorry, I'll see you all later back at the dorm. surprised at how much she's changed. Ah, friendship. How beautiful. Adolescence is such a wonderful thing. So full of vibrancy. Mr. Chairman! Oh, hello. I just stopped by to pick someone up. I might as well introduce you to him now. He doesn't leave during the break because of his circumstances. Oh, I heard about that. Something about his parents. It was only me and my mom, but she got in an accident and she... she died. It happened two years ago. Right now, one of his distant relatives is paying for his school expenses. But staying at the elementary school dorm all by himself isn't proper for a child his age. So, I decided to move him to your dorm for the summer. To our dorm? Do you really think that's a good idea? Why, of course. He has the potential. Then he's the new candidate? Yes. But as you can see, He's still just an elementary school student, so it is merely a possibility for now. Uh... Are you Sonata Senpai? Um, yeah. I've heard a lot about you. You haven't lost a boxing match yet. Yeah, well, it's nice to meet you. Finally, some time off. Yakushima, here we come. I can't wait for Monday. And then, one week of school till summer break. Freaking awesome! Aren't you getting a little carried away? I mean, the trip is only for a few days, and we'll still have to fight shadows over summer break. In other words, we can't afford to stop training in Tyrus. Yukari! Yukari, do you not see the status that I showed you in the beginning of this recording? Not in this episode, in this recording in particular, like, like about an hour ago. We do not need to go to Tartarus for a while now. Maybe unless someone else is stuck inside, but other than that, there's not really much of a reason for us to do it, so. I know, I know, but my energy level is so high during summer, no one can stop me. Anyway, tomorrow I'm gonna start packing, so if we're going to Tartarus, then let's do it today. Uh, yeah, no. You start packing, you can start packing right away. Don't worry about the tickets to Yakushima, I'm taking care of them. Although, I was a little disappointed about the price. It turns out the fare for the ferry wasn't very fair. But when I told the lady selling the tickets that, she just ignored me. <laughs> uh, I was a little hurt after that. Wait a minute, you you tried to you tried to pull a joke, didn't you? The fair for the fairy wasn't very fair. <laughs> when I told that to the lady, she just ignored me. <laughs> I was a little hurt after that. Yeah, you tried to pull off the old Ikutsuki dad joke. 
it'll, it'll work on somebody. I once tried to pull in the updog joke with my professor, and somebody had to spoil it to him, but one of those days, I, he would have cracked. Just probably not that day. We should really take this time to forget about all the bad things that have been happening and have some fun. You said it, pal. Yeah, we're gonna have an awesome time. What if I want to tell you, I just want to relax. What? Are you an old lady or something? Live a little. Do I have to force you to have fun? God, I cannot imagine what forcing... Forcing me to have fun. I cannot imagine what that would be like. Are you prepared to go to Yakushima? <gasps> Yakushima! <laughs> Impressive. You seem to have a lot of free time to spare, even though you had finals. I hope you did well on them. Let's not talk about that. We're not... Well, we're leaving the day after tomorrow, early in the morning. Take tomorrow to pack your things. Alright, what is up, Fuko? How's everyone's status? Everyone can go tonight? I almost forgot that we're all going to Yakushima together. I'm getting so excited now. Kenkum seems very mature. I can't believe he's only in elementary school. I wish someone would learn from his example. I wonder why he's like that. I wonder why too. Akihiko, do you have the answer to that? Ken's going to live here with us. Yeah. Yeah. Quiz game! Alright. If you tell me that this quiz game is going to bring out my academics, I'm going to be uber upset. God damn it! Post-exam break begins today. We don't even have a closing ceremony or anything like that? Nothing? Finals, finals, Yakushima vacation. Test results, ending ceremony. Oh. It's Yakushima for only three... For only four days. I don't know. I thought Yakushima was going to be after the closing ceremony. Well, fuck. Shirt of Chivalry and Mega Protein. Those are worthless for me. I know the Shirt of Chivalry can be found in fucking Thebel. Why would I want to get it right now? Almost forever, God knows reason they decided to make the shirt of chivalry better and portable. Holy shit, no one is over here. No one is in the command room right now. No new recordings. Akihiko's not here. Junpei ain't here. My god. Everyone is actually gone gone. Oh, hey, they're over here. I came to look at bathing suits with Yukari-chan. I've never bought a bathing suit besides the school one, but I don't think Yukari Chan is really up for this. I came to pick out a new bathing suit, but there's nothing that interests me. Although I don't think it's this shop's selection. It could just be that I'm not up for a new swimsuit at all. Ouch, poor Fuka. <laughs> yes, sir! Bigger cat! <laughs> Bigger cat! And holy shit, look at that quality. Look look at those assholes over there and then look at this cat. The quality just dipped significantly. My god. Hey, what's good, Junpei? I came to pick some swimmer to bring to Yakushima, but I don't know which one to get. I asked Akihiko-san, but he doesn't give a rip about fashion. It's always best to ask girls about this stuff, so just name it. Uh... <laughs> A fig leaf, a one-piece bathing suit, speedos, and boxers. Jesus Christ, these are not the options I was expecting. Let's try the fig leaf. Oh, are you into the eco-friendly stuff? I do like saving the earth. Perfect for a guy like me. Wait, hell no! I get arrested! Oh, uh, glad, glad you were able to find a fault in that logic. Uh, what if we said this? I thought of that once. I'll get a laugh at least. Well, what about Speedos? That's not really my thing. I don't have the body for it, you know? Alright, well what about boxers? The basic style, huh? I don't know. Is that the style I should go for? <laughs> well, I mean, even though you found a f even though you found a flaw in logic, you did seem a little open to the idea of a fig leaf. <laughs> Oh my god, Game Parade's still not giving me anything! Alright, alright, alright. 
He, here's, here's a better answer. Well, not better answer, but better question. Can I? Wait a minute. I was about to say, can I actually go back to my fucking dorm to try and study? But I just increased my academics to above average. And my charm is already just got increased to angelic. It takes way more time for me to build up academics than it does for charm. So fuck it. I'll just do charm over here. Besides, I genuinely don't know if once I entered in those dorm gates, I'm just going to get flung right back into the dorm and it's already evening or whatnot. I do not want to skip anything at all. Pheromone coffee up the wazoo. Thank you. All right. Everything should be fine, right? Nobody's here. Is everyone is everyone in their fucking? Oh no, I was about to say is everyone in their rooms, but no. Dude, I'm so ready for this. Look out, ladies! Here I come. Ah, uh, is that all you think about Junpei Kun? You sure know how to leave your troubles behind. I wish I could forget my worries as easily as you do. You gotta get the most out of life. I know you're right, but still. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, it's not that I don't like Yakushima. Usually I love being out in the sun and swimming in the ocean. I'm just not really up for it this time. Mitsuru Senpai and Akihiko Senpai are not here today, so we can't go to Tartarus. Besides, we're leaving for Yakushima soon. That reminds me. I wonder how Yukari-chan is doing. She didn't seem very enthusiastic about buying a bathing suit. Uh, <laughs> who knows, who knows. Is Mitsuru in her room? No. She did say Mitsuru and Akihiko weren't here, so I doubt Akihiko will be in- won't- I doubt Akihiko will be in his room. That's what I'm trying to say. No new recordings. Alright. Yakushima! <laughs> What better way to go off to Yakushima than to drinking some more pheromone coffee? We gotta get the charm up here, ladies and men. Charm increase! I'm actually really close. Well, I mean, I, I know I just leveled up my charm, but still, I can't believe I'm almost about to be level 6 in terms of charm. Your trip to Yakushima begins today and lasts for 4 days, 3 nights. Time for you to get ready. Holy shit, people! Whoa, 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 what's with this atmosphere? Come on now! Yakushima, baby! <laughs> wow! It's like we're in an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Fabulous. Welcome back, milady. And you must be her schoolmates, correct? Welcome to the Kirijo Vacation Home. Please follow me. Um, is this the right place? Dude, real life maids. I knew she was from an important family, but this definitely confirms it. Look who we got here. We got Mr. Moneybags himself. It's good to see you. Was that her father? Dude, talk about scary. He's not gonna make us walk the plank, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Be here long, but make yourself at home. Sweet, this is gonna rock. Hey, you wanna go to the beach? It's right there, dude. This place rules. Come on, let's go. What already? I mean, sure, but let me get changed first. 
then I'll see you there. I'm not going to waste a single minute. After changing into your swimsuit and arriving at the beach, you see Junpei and Akihiko talking. Uh, got my sandals on, giving my feet a chance to breathe. Yep, summer's here. You can tell even at this distance that Junpei is extremely excited. Ugh, could he be any louder? Oh, we're not with them. That's right. Akihiko and Junpei are going to be on Operation Babe Hunt. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to see this over here. Oh, you guys are going to love Operation Babe Hunt. Editor, you know what to do. But yikes, what's with Akihiko's senpai swimsuit? Oh, Lord. I can feel my face getting red just looking at it. Yukari. Yo, about time you guys got here. Hmm? Something wrong, Yukari? That's a pretty small swimsuit. What? Don't you know? Swimsuits like this reduce water resistance and... I'm pretty sure he's in Speedo. If what he's saying is coming through my mind, I think he's wearing a Speedo. Oh, that's okay. It doesn't need to be justified. Hey, Junpei, what's the matter? You look even dumber than usual. Man, talk about a feast for the eyes. <laughs> Yucatan's wearing a more aggressive model than I had imagined. Could her boldness come from the confidence that her club training has toned her bod? What? And check out our leader. She's one cute mermaid herself. All right, where is the slap button? Those curves she usually keeps covered are looking good. I can't tear my eyes away. Uh, let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny. What's wrong with you? The beach is so great. I love this place. Well, I guess I would have. I guess I would have gotten the same response if I told him he's a creep. Is that umbrella taken? Oh, and here we have the lovely Miss Yamagishi. Wow, Fuka. I had no idea you were so. I mean, you should wear a swimsuit more often. E e e e e e e Huh? Oh. oh come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> Stop that creepy laugh, you perv. And here's our final contestant. Hmm? Is something wrong? Wow. Mitsura Senpai, you're beautiful. Yeah, your skin is flawless. Did you already put on sunscreen? No, not yet. Psst, Akihiko Senpai. Level with me. Which one's your type? Oh, no! 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 I need to see. I need. I need the tea. Come the fuck on, Akihiko! I need the tea! <laughs> huh? Really? K keep your voice down. George, come on, Akihiko! I'm holding the mic! My brother in Christ, I need this tea. I am parched, my guy. Man, really? No joke? What are you two smirking about? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Man, this is great. I'm in heaven. How about a swim? Ba -ba 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 -ba! Charge! Whoa, I'm not letting you win that easy. You feel uneasy. I can imagine why. As if someone is watching you. I don't feel safe anymore. What a mess. I wonder who's watching me now. The IRS? Oh, it's cold. <laughs> oh. All right. As I was going to say, I guess we're not going to do Operation Babe Hunt considering that, you know, I'm not one of the guys.
but uh, Mr. Editor will gladly provide you the footage for Operation Babe Hunt. Hello, I would gladly love to save my game right now. I'm hearing my neighbors amp up their music, so in the event that I need to head out right away, I will, so I don't fuck up my recordings. I already heard a drum beat. What's good, Akihiko? Everyone seems to be having fun. That's a good thing, I suppose. Our operations during the dark hour put a lot of stress on us. You should relax a little and rest up. Under that parasol is the optimal place. But gl glad you told me right after I figured it out, you know. <sighs> this is such a nice place. Why does Stupe have to be here and spoil it all? <laughs> Pixie Chan, help! Junpei is. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? You like that, huh? No one can resist splashing girls at the beach. <laughs> I'm gonna splash more water on you. You, hey, you're gonna pay for that. Take this. Oh, am I not gonna see a slap animation? That would have been pretty dope. <laughs> Thank you, Mitsuru Senpai. Thank you so much. I could die right now with no regrets. Ooh, I don't know about that one, buddy. <laughs> I don't know about that one. You must have some regrets. Isn't this place nice? I came here often when I was young, but I don't remember it looking quite like this. I wish I could see it, but, you know, there's only so much I could see on this interface. Dude, where are you going? Never play alone at the beach. Oh, what? I cannot go in the forest. What about the summer home? You're leaving already? Of course not. Dude, you had me worried. This is the beach we're talking about here. Chicks in bikinis. What more can you ask for? Um, gameplay? Aw, you suck. Well, I'm gonna say it a little longer. Later, man. Hoping for a good swim. You must be joking. We come all the way to the beach and you're gonna train? What's wrong with that? You got a better idea? Damn right I do. It's summertime at the beach. I've got the perfect activity. Hello to contestant number one, Yukari Takaba. As you can see, she's chosen a bold design, quite unexpected. It takes a lot of confidence to pull off a swimsuit like that. Is that umbrella taken? Next up is contestant number two, Fuka Yamagishi. Wow, Fuka. No idea you were so. I mean, you should wear a swimsuit more often. Huh? Oh! oh, come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> Stop that creepy laugh, you perv. And here's our final contestant. Something wrong? Wow, Mitsuru Senpai, you're beautiful. Yeah, your skin is flawless. Did you already put on sunscreen? No, not yet. So, which one's your type? Damn, Junpei. I honestly could not be able to tell you. Unlike in Persona 4 and Persona 5 where for me personally it felt like an easy choice, Persona 3 never <laughs> gave me an, uh, an easy choice. 
Damn. I'm almost tempted just to roll a wheel. Just to see who do I... <laughs> just to see who I should pick. Alright, here's a simple solution. We just have one big giant wheel. And let's see who we get. Mystical wheel. Alright, we're going with Yukari then. <laughs> All right, Junpei, I have made my choice. Aha, just as I thought. Man, this is great. I'm in heaven. How about a swim? Ba -ba 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 -ba! Charge! been a while. I'm glad that you're in good health. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again, none of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. That has been our guiding principle since the Kurijo family separated from the Nanjo group. You must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. Yes, Father. You accessed our database, didn't you? That's another thing. Why didn't you ask me directly instead of using this trip as an excuse? I'm... I'm sorry. Bring them here. All of them. I had no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. There's a girl named Takaba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Imagine. If you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Damn, that's insane. However, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. Now that I think about it, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth. And it's my duty to tell you. What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident, recorded by a scientist who was at the scene.
listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. I am to blame for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. Huh? You mean... that was... Father. His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time, and a very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. I can't believe it. So that means my dad caused it all? The Dark Hour, Tartarus, the people who died in that incident? It was all his fault? Uh, you okay? <laughs> so that's why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, Takiba, I... I don't want your pity! Um, shouldn't someone go after her? <sighs> Will you go? Thank you. I believed in him for so long. Oh, this is too much. Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little? You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. That must have been tough. I don't even want to know what they did. What they did. That, that's just tough. Yeah. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot. And I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared, but I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But it turns out, all of that was for nothing. And that's not true. Like, you can't really put it all on your father, Yukari. He was an intelligent man, and not only that, but Granddaddy Kirijo over there, he lost his marbles. He's the head honcho, he's the one who's to blame for it all. I'm sure your dad had, like, legitimate reasons and whatnot. You're just trying to make me feel better. Why does reality have to be so harsh? I tried so hard to fight my fear, and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. I mean, why my father and not hers? Ouch. Ouch. I'm a horrible person, aren't I? I wouldn't say horrible, but ouch. Don't blame yourself, Yukari. Stop acting like you have all the answers. I'm trying my best here. 
I'm sorry. My head's a mess. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. Tell me, what should I do? We need you, Yukari. I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents too. But I'm all right now. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Thanks. Hey! Sheesh, <sighs> what's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. Ah, Stupe, Ace Defective, reporting for duty. <laughs> it's almost the dark hour, so you should get back. Oh shit, that's right. I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Sheesh, it's just common sense. Even I remembered. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. It's like trading away your innocence. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. Ouch. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? I mean, if you want to look at it that way, I guess. Yep. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's get back. God damn it. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. God damn. People, come on. This atmosphere is so heavy, we might as well be on fucking Jupiter at this point. Oh, so listen to this. Junpei was acting like such a pervert yesterday, and I didn't know how to react. Slap him. It's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. No. Mitsuru speaking. Uh, Mitsuru, we have a slight problem. Please continue. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island, and the machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a combat vehicle, an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. I see. Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. The target cannot be captured. Do we have permission to destroy it? <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. Great. No one's answering. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although this island is quite large. Jeez, where could they be? Huh? Are the girls not up yet? Man, what lazy bones. The ocean's not gonna sit around and wait for us, you know? You're right. Once the sun sets, the water temperature drops, tiring you out much faster. Huh? Uh, I guess. Is that what you're worried about? That reminds me. One of the maids gave me a letter as we were leaving. Well, hey, Junpei! <laughs> <laughs> ah, no 
what? I ain't letting any love letters from a lovely maid slip through my fingers. Oh, how dumb can you get? Ah, let's see here. This says we've gone to see the Joman cedar tree. Huh? It looks like Fuka's handwriting. Oh, man. We're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why don't they go to the beach? Jeez, I don't know about that, jackass. You think you can answer? That's just not right. Well, it is your fault. <laughs> you tell Makihiko. What do you mean? I, I just wanted to lighten up the mood. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. We're on our own now. Just the guys. If you're out of ammo, you pick it up on the battlefield. That's one of the most basic military tactics. We'll call this Operation Babe Hunt. Babe Hunt? You mean like pick up girls? What do you think, Akihiko-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. Nah, I'll pass. Oh, scared you're gonna lose? <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, I'm not judging you. Most guys would rather back down than lose. All right, we're doing this. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay, with Mitsuru and our leader gone, I'm in command. Huh? The loser buys dinner at Hagakure when we get back home. Commence the operation. Loser? What do you mean, loser? <laughs> Wait, we're gonna go hit on him separately? <laughs> Hi there, miss. Wanna hang out? Oh, I see. You're here with your boyfriend. Uh, hey there. Say, do you know the most efficient swimming technique? The butterfly stroke uses your leg strength to... Oh, I... I see. <clears throat> Need someone to rub sunblock on your hard-to-reach areas? Oh, don't worry. I'm really good at it. Uh, uh, you're trying to get a tan? I'm in the way? Oh, excuse me then. Mm. All right, Junpei. What's going on here? Uh, these guys are awful. These guys are way more awful than I remember. <laughs> what do you mean? That indirect approach of yours isn't going to help you score. What? So you're saying I should use cheesy come-ons like yours? Honesty is the best policy. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to that. I mean, who wants to listen to a guy drone about muscles and... <laughs> What's up? You see something? Talk about saving the best for last. Now that's what I'm talking about. Man, she's cute. I agree. This is our last chance to make up for failures. All right, here I go. Hey. Hey, how's it going? I noticed you've been uh, staring at the ocean. So, um... Do you come here often? My name's J J J Junpei. Ju Ju Junpei? Oh, don't worry. I I just want to talk. I mean, I mean, it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, isn't it? I am looking for a human. Uh, oh yeah. You are not the one. <laughs> Damn, son. Wow, he got shot down faster than I expected. <laughs> She's a tough one, senpai. Huh. Don't worry about me. Well, hello there. Say, uh, do you like the ocean? Is your question directed at me? Oh, um, yeah. I, I like the ocean, too. 
Hey, I heard that triathletes who train at the beach perform better than those who practice indoors. Makes sense, doesn't it? That type of information is irrelevant to me. I talked to her longer than you did. Hey, shut the fuck up, Akiko. Don't give me this I want bullshit. It doesn't matter how long you talk to her. <sighs> Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> hey, stop crying. You're making me feel bad. <gasps> she looks surprised for some reason. What's she looking at? Hmm. <sighs> Uh, she took off. It wasn't because of us, was it? Who knows? Wait, she's heading into the forest. Isn't it dangerous for a skinny girl like her to wander around all alone in there? Why? You think there might be bears or something? I... I don't know about that, but... We should go after her. Uh, what's up? Hello. I was correct. I have found you. I have been searching for you. My highest priority is to be with you. <laughs> there she is. Wait, what? What's going on here? I see. So that's her preference. <laughs> well, that explains why we got the cold shoulder. Ouch. There you are. Jupei, what are you doing here? We've been looking all over for you. Um, what are you doing in the middle of the woods in your swimsuits? You have no idea what we've... Huh? Why is she hugging you? Uh, beats me. Uh, she says I'm our priority. <laughs> what? Listen, we've encountered a problem. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need you all to go back to the house and prepare for battle. That won't be necessary. We found what we were looking for. Damn, Ikutsuki just showed out of nowhere. What do you mean? Oh, you had me worried. You don't have permission to leave the lab on your own, I guess. I know. This says we've gone to see the Joman cedar tree. It looks like Fuka's handwriting. Oh, man. We're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why don't they go to the beach? That's just not right. Well, it is your fault. What do you mean? I, I just wanted to lighten up the mood. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. We're on our own now. Just the guys. If you're out of ammo, you pick it up on the battlefield. That's one of the most basic military tactics. We'll call this Operation Babe Hunt. Babe hunt? You mean like pick up girls? What do you think, Akihiko san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. What do you think about this? I think we should begin the operation. And I'm appointing him our leader as usual. Set yourself, this is an operation. Aw, man, that's bullshit! <laughs> Damn straight, Junpei. I'm always gonna be leader. You better take this seriously. It's an important operation.
We're finally back here with Operation Bay Punt. Let's fucking go, baby. <laughs> I'm not really up for this. <laughs> Come on, let's get going. All right, so, ooh, we found some senoritas. Let's go hit on him. So there's a good chance that I could just replace some of the voices that I do with the actual voices that was I found in portable and whatnot. Who knows? I genuinely don't know how this is gonna go. Anyways, what's up? What's up, ladies? Have you ever heard of this thing called NFTs? Beep, beep, beep! Target confirmed! Let's move in for the kill. This is my area of expertise, so listen up. First off, think of something to talk about. Something they might be interested in. Give them an easy question to get the ball rolling? That's the golden rule. Something like, where you're from? Or, having fun? Pretty soon, you'll be tossing questions and answers back and forth like you're playing catch. I'll start things off and you can ask the questions, alright? Here we go. Hey, ladies! Having fun? <laughs> None of your business. Uh, hey, no need to be shy. We don't bite. Why should we tell you? Uh, come on, cut us some slack. We just want to talk. I thought you said you're an expert. Hold your horses. I'm just getting warmed up. Watch and learn. So, ladies, are you in college? Um, don't tell me you guys are still in high school. Nope, not us. Seriously? You sure look like high schoolers from here. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's a lie. Oh, really? High school kids vacationing in Yakushima? That kind of pisses me off. Well, we were invited to our friend's vacation home. Pretty cool, huh? Good for your friend. We, on the other hand, have to pay for our vacation with our hard-earned money. I guess we're just lucky? Yeah, lucky you. What do you want, anyway? Uh... We're, we're running low on ammo! Quick! Throw everything at them! Huh? <laughs> You're pretty bold. Hey, stop giving them compliments. and Just ignore them. Oh, wait! Don't do that! How can you blame us for wanting to talk to such beautiful women? Uh, these guys are full of shit. Yeah, let's get out of here. WAIT! Uh, come on, give us a chance! How about a walk on the beach? You're annoying. See ya, boys. So much for your expertise. Hey, I did my best! What about you, senpai? You think you can do better? Come on, show us what you got! Why should I? Well, you're supposed to be a tactical master, right? And isn't our duty to help each other succeed? I guess you have a point here there. Fine, I'll give it a shot. I'm sure I'll do better than you. Can you give me a hand, Pixel? I'll set the pace, of course. Alright, so that operation didn't go as smoothly, but you know what? Lose the fight, win the war. Or was it lose the battle? Something like that. You get the idea. Men, we've located a new target. Ooh, what are you waiting for, Akihiko-san? Show us how it's done. Just keep your mouth shut. Hey, Nobuko, are they staring at us? Yeah, I think so. Wow, Yoshii, you can see them from here? 
That's my cue. Uh, hi. Sorry to bother you, but I wanted to ask you something. Yes? Um, are you here alone? <laughs> are you hitting on us? Uh, no, not at all. We just thought that if you're bored, you might want to talk. We could get to know each other better. Um, that's what it means to hit on someone. Don't you know? It's so lame to hit on girls at the beach. We were bored anyway, so why don't we just play along? Hey, you guys are kind of cute. Nabuko! Hey, how old do you think we are? Uh, around 20, I want to say. But then that would just make women feel like they're old as shit if we get it wrong. It's always better to make them feel like they're younger. About the same, about the same as us? Are you blind? Do we look that immature? Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. It's okay. They were trying to be nice. It's been a while since we graduated from high school. Oh, really? That's too bad. Dude, wait! Don't you know that older women are more experienced? They're like fine wines! You're a pretty smooth talker for someone so young. How old are you guys anyway? Uh, we're in high school. I'll be graduating next year. That's a bummer. We're not astrologically compatible. Oh my god, not this bullshit again! <laughs> Fuck astrology! Look, it isn't going to happen, so just give it up. You don't even seem like you're having fun talking to us. Uh, we are! We are! Or so you say. We don't even have anything to talk about except work, and that's just complaints. Well, that might be interesting. You're not very good at lying, are you? You don't have to pretend to be interested. Come on, Yoshii! Give him a break! He said he's interested, right? Hey, let's head back. They're waiting for us. They? You mean you have boyfriends? Oh, yes. Sorry. Did we forget to mention that? Well, gotta go. We're having a barbecue at the Via. You can come if you want. Uh, n no thanks. See ya. Well, that actually went worse, my opinion. Senpai! What the heck just happened? Man, we look like a bunch of idiots! <laughs> the face of defeat. Dude, you were his wingman! Where was the support? You let them slip through our fingers! Buddy, I tried my best, okay? I tried to get us on track. Seriously, get your act together, man. Next time, I want results. Oh, well, there's, there's still somebody out there, right? Right? You just gotta look for them. It can't be over. <laughs> Hello! She's all alone, huh? Kind of strange, don't you think? Well, what are we waiting for? Excuse me, miss. Yes? Are you... Alone? Yes, uh, I'm completely alone. By alone, I mean single. Incidentally, I saw you hitting on those girls. How'd it go? Uh, it was another failure. Oh really? That's a shame. Have you considered any alternative approaches? We try to be heroes, but ended up zeros. Do you have to say it like that? <laughs> That's so stupid, it's funny! 
Uh, hey, that's not my A material. How do you expect to get a girl with that kind of attitude? You boys have no balls. <laughs> She's telling me I got no balls? Really? Excuse me? You heard me. Don't be shy. Embrace the unknown. Be open to the possibilities. Especially you, you cute young thing. Uh, uh, me? Yes, you. I can tell you like experience. And you, you're a handsome fellow, but even more timid. Uh, how'd you know? Well, if you'd like, I'd be happy to show you a thing or two. <laughs> Seriously? I'll teach you how to treat a lady right. <laughs> I'm in! But... I don't know if I can handle all three of you, so... Who will it be? ME! Hey! This is my idea in the first place! Why do you get to have all the fun? Forget him! Uh, pick me! I'll show you I've got balls! <laughs> Just what I'm looking for in a man. Yeah! I'm the one! Sorry, senpai! Hey, wait. What? Are you trying to ruin my summer of love? Uh, isn't that hair on your chin? <gasps> I, I miss a spot? Uh, are you, uh... Ah, <sighs> there goes my chance. I was so close to snagging myself a little boy toy. Yeah, yummy. She's a he. I guess you fellas aren't quite ready for a woman like me. If you decide you want to try something a little spicier, then you know where to find me. <laughs> well, price is averted, I suppose. Well, I mean, Junpei's not wrong. Enough already. Later, whose fault do you think it is? It's both your fault. I won't accept a stalemate. It's either him or me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is serious. Now tell us uh, who's. What's the matter? You see something? I'm not gonna lie, I so want to just go back and just pick Akihiko just to see his fucking face of defeat once again, but uh, I'm too far ahead. Talk about saving the best for last, now that's what I'm talking about! Man, she's cute. I agree. This is our last chance to make up for failures. But this time we should try one by one instead of all together. We'll have a better shot that way. Sounds like a good plan. All right, then let's decide the order. We'll go clockwise, starting with the winner. Ready? Rock. Scissors. Rock. Fuck! You're kidding me. Yeah. I win. Okay, I'll go first. Akihiko san will go second. You'll go last. I'm up. Wish me luck.
Come on, Junpei, you got this. You got this. Oh man, he does not got this. He's not him. Hey, how's it going? I noticed you've been uh, staring at the ocean. So, um, do you come here often? My name's J J Junpei. Ju-ju-junpei? Oh, don't worry, I, I just want to talk. I mean, I mean, it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, isn't it? I am looking for a human. Uh, oh, yeah? You are not the one. Wow, he got shot down faster than I expected. <laughs> She's a tough one, senpai. <laughs> Don't worry about me. the ocean is your question directed at me oh um yeah I, I like the ocean too hey i heard that triathletes who train at the beach perform better than those who practice indoors makes sense doesn't it wow he's actually having a conversation with her oh, although something's not right That type of information is irrelevant to me. <laughs> I won. I talked to her longer than you did. It doesn't matter how long you talk to her. <sighs> Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> Crying. You're making me feel bad. So, that's our status. If you can't pull this off, I'm gonna be traumatized for the rest of my life. It's all up to you now. Jesus Christ. Come on, guys. Why put everything on me always? Uh, fuck. <laughs> I messed the A button! I, I couldn't hear what he said. Neither could I. Surprised. We should go over there. I messed the A button, holy shit. You are initiating evasive maneuver. Confirmation must be made at a secure location. Cool, I scared her off. <laughs> what did you say to make her run away like that? Well, what are you waiting for? Go after her! Um, I probably... But it wasn't my fault. Who cares about her? Come on! Go tell her you're sorry! If you don't, we'll all be in trouble. Go on, man! You can catch her if you hurry! Bruh... Dude, you better catch her and apologize. Make sure you bring her back here too. <laughs> what, so you can hit on her again? That style of running seems strange. I don't know what you did, but you better talk to her. Man, she ran away because I accidentally mashed the A button and told her good afternoon. Fuck!
I was correct. I have found you. I have been searching for you. My highest priority is to be with you. What? I can't believe this! What's going on? He didn't even say anything to her. There you guys are. What are you doing here? We've been looking all over for you. Um, what are you doing in the middle of the woods in your swimsuits? You have no idea what we've... Huh? Who's this? Listen, we've encountered a problem. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need you all to go back to the house and prepare for battle. That won't be necessary. We found what we were looking for. What do you mean? Oh, you had me worried. You don't have permission to leave the lab on your own, I guess. I apologize for all the trouble. Everything is under control now. So, what happened to capturing the tank? Oh, that's been taken care of. Come here, I guess. This is Igus. As you can see, she's a mechanical maiden. I am Igus. My mission is to destroy shadows. I have been assigned to seize, effective immediately. <sighs> no way. It's like she's alive. This is unbelievable. She's so cute, but she's a robot. L. L. <laughs> L. Anti-shadow weapons were created 10 years ago to combat uncontrollable shadows. Igus was the last to be made, and she's the only one that still remains today. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean she... Yes, I am capable of operating the persona Palladian. She suffered major damage in combat and has remained in the lab ever since. It's still unclear as to why she suddenly reactivated herself this morning. Well, I hope you will all get along. An anti-shadow weapon with a will of her own? This is amazing! Um, by the way, when I saw you earlier, it seemed like you knew him. Yes, it is very important for me to be by his side. Hmm, perhaps her identification system is malfunctioning. Or maybe she's still half asleep. This is quite interesting. Hmm. Well, I can ponder this later. Oh, I forgot to tell you all. You can participate in a wide range of recreational activities here. There's a tennis court, a pool table, even a karaoke machine. Would you care to hear me sing? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Uh... Man, it's already the third day of our trip. It's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could. But I can't complain. A lot of cool things happened while we were here. How can he be so full of energy? God damn. Bro. Akihiko, what's wrong? Are you like an old man or something? You were all up so late last night. Do we have a mission at the beach today? Nah, it's nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? Of course. Recreation is the refreshment of one's mind and body. Exactly. Well, you sure know a lot about us humans. All right, let's take one last dip before we leave. 
Uh, hold on, Junpei Kun. Is it okay for Igus to go in the ocean? Oh, I'm sure she's waterproof. Only Igus returned. What's wrong, Igus? It is best that we all engage in this activity together. An activity in which only one person derives enjoyment is not the optimal method to have fun. Ah yes, we have to be optimal when it comes to having fun. I like your thinking, I guess. Ugh, do we have to? We should join them. Okay. Are you enjoying yourself? We've been quite busy during our time here, but it looks as if we can relax a bit today. I hope so. Hey, Akihiko-san, come on! It's your turn! My turn? What are they doing? <laughs> I'm glad to see everyone is having so much fun. I've already told you what time the ship will be arriving tomorrow, yes? I'll most likely head over to the port early, so don't be late. Okay, I'll let everyone know. We can get back down to business again once we're back at the door. Got it. Hey, Akihiko Senpai! This again? I guess we should go too. I guess wait! That's not what water gun means! <laughs> <laughs> Junpei Kun is down! Alright, here's our chance for an all out attack! Attack! Whoa, 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 time out! I seriously can't take much more of this! <laughs> Alright, rank 5. That's what I'd like to see, baby. Party members can now take a mortal blow for you in battle. Jeez, thanks guys. I appreciate that. When you receive a blow that would otherwise kill you, your ally will take the hit for you during battle. I'll gladly take it. If only they could do that with Hama and Mudo skills, but I almost positive that they can't. Oh well. Ah oh, shit, it's them. You mean those three? Wow, they're freaky. Shut up, let's go. Why do they always run and hide when I approach? They're like back alley rats. Beats me. Jin, give him the capsules. Thanks. I'll pay you the same as... Hold up. This time, information will suffice. Your acquaintances have been busy lately. I'm referring to their activities on nights when the moon is full. They spend a great deal of time in the tower as well. Why did they take this burden upon themselves? <laughs> you do know, don't you? But you don't wish to say. Is it because they are your friends? No, I've got nothing to do with them. Then tell us. Huh. I don't know the details, but supposedly if you destroy all those creatures, then the tower will disappear and with it the dark hour. You mean they intend to eliminate the dark hour? Yeah, why? Why would they do such a thing? With the power they have, they wish to destroy the Tower of Demise as well? Tower of Demise? Who wouldn't want to take out that damn tower? Easy, Takaya. Yes. Yes. 
I can't go back. Not after what happened. Man, I'm beat. It seemed to take forever to get back. Yeah, it was a tiring trip. Please rest up so you're ready for the next operation. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any plans for summer break, so I can fight shadows all you want. Wow, you must really be bored. Sh shut up, Yukutan. <laughs> Whatever. We just have to defeat those last six, and it'll all be over. The loss will get better, and everything will be back to normal, right? That's why we have to try our hardest. Even though supposedly everyone is quote unquote tired, everyone still looks to be in good condition. Everyone seems so tired. Maybe we should just skip going to Tartarus tonight and just rest. Fuka, I'm telling you, that's not what I'm seeing. These are your lodging quarters. Very well. I shall be by your side at all times. So far from passing us human, it seems she's unable to understand ordinary feelings and conversation at the moment. If she were able to do that, you may be able to create a bond with her. May. Alright. Uh, that's a key word over there. Hmm? Is there something you'd like to know about Igis? Where are the others? I assume you're referring to the other anti-shadow weapons. Well, there were many created. You could say they were Aegis' sisters. However, they were all destroyed 10 years ago in the incident. Aegis has been quite lonely since then. Uh, why is she in human form? Personas are created from human minds. So, the plan was to place a human mind inside an anti-shadow weapon. The only real issue was the form the weapon would take. In the form of the weapon was a tank, for instance, the weapon's minds would recognize itself as a tank. However, a tank is not a living entity. This is crucial, you see, because the mind of a non-living entity will not process human thoughts correctly, so it will not function properly and will soon become corrupted. However, a mind placed inside a form that closely resembles a human body will recognize itself as a human being thus allowing it to easily adapt to human thoughts. Therefore, Aegis and her sisters were built in the form of human beings. I'm almost curious as to what Aegis' sisters look like now. How come she knows me? I do not know. Perhaps it is simply a glitch in her human recognition programming. Regardless, it is nothing to concern yourself with. A lot of people are joining the team now. It's so much different than before. Glad to hear that. I'm sure I'm supposed to interpret that in a good way, right? Hmm, an anti-shadow weapon. That will be a most welcome addition. Most souvenirs are worthless. Snow globes, keychains, postcards. However, this is one souvenir from Yakushima that is très bien. She is cute, huh? Super cute. I don't think I've ever met a machine that was so cute before. My man is downright bad. Do you think anyone will be able to tell that she's a robot? I don't. I mean, you'd really have to be looking for a robot to figure that out. As long as she acts normal, no one will suspect a thing. I mean, I suppose so. You could just call that little hairband that she has fucking headphones. Keeps them at all times. Is there a quiz game? There's not. There's the print club though. What are my statuses looking like right now? Angelic and above average. Hmm. Do I want to talk with Tanaka? And oh fuck it, let's just let's just get this charm over with already. Charm has greatly increased. That is what I like to see. We'll get that nice and level morning. ten quickly. Uh, good morning. Please wake up. You've awakened safely. Mission complete. Uh, did my alarm go off? It has not triggered yet. The paper on the wall says, do things five minutes early. Therefore, I woke you up five minutes in advance. Hey, are you awake? Unfortunately. That girl disappeared, and we can't find her anywhere. Think you can help us out? She might have gone out on her own, like she did in Yakushima. I am not a girl. I am Aegis, and I am here. Huh? Aegis! 
how did you... She was asleep, so I unlocked the door. That's unlawful entry. Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? I propose to be on standby in this room from now on. Is this acceptable? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? If there is a problem, then I will address it promptly. Uh, well, you're both girls, so if she doesn't mind, I guess it's okay. What? What? Last time I was told no! It'll be pretty crowded in here, though. Are you okay with that? Not really. Sorry, I guess. Guess that's a no. I will comply. Oh, well. I'll have a room prepared for you on the third floor, so you can stay nearby. Oh, and don't leave the dorm by yourself, okay? I will do as commanded. Ugh, I'm tired. I have practice this morning, so I gotta go. Everyone goes to a place called school in the morning. I comprehend. Sorry, I guess, but gonna be a no for me. If you can't do it, if you can't do it in FES, you're da you're damn well not doing it here. It has not triggered yet. The paper on the wall says do things five minutes early. Therefore, I woke you up five minutes in advance. Hey, are you awake? That girl disappeared, and we can't find her anywhere. Think you can help us out? She might have gone out on her own, like she did in Yakushima. I am not a girl. I am Igis, and I am here. Huh? You... He was asleep, so I unlocked the door. That's unlawful entry. Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? I propose to be on standby in this room from now on. Is this acceptable? What? No, it's not acceptable. If there is a problem, then I will address it promptly. The problem is, it's against dorm regulations. Well, don't just sit there. Tell her. H hey, don't say that. You know she can't stay with you. <sighs> All right, I'll have a room prepared for you on the third floor. You can stay there. Oh, and don't leave the dorm by yourself, okay? I will do as commanded. Ugh, I'm tired. I have practice this morning, so I gotta go. Everyone goes to a place called school in the morning. I comprehend. Sup? Hey, I was thinking, after we defeat all the shadows and the dark hour disappears, what's gonna happen then? There'll be peace! Well, yeah, but regular people don't even know about the dark hour, right? That means no one will ever know about anything we've done. That kind of sucks, don't you think? Yeah, it would be nice, you know, to get some recognition and whatnot, but... You know, there's, there's, there's only so much we could do. All right, let's look at these exam results. You earned a pretty high score. I feel like some of your classmates are staring at you. Let's see my work being my work finally being recognized. Although, oh my god, I was I had almost at about above average, and then no, the game was like, fuck you. Hey, would you look at that? Level twenty nine. Holy shit, are you really going to be telling me that I have to go level up I guess now? Fuck off! Oh. I don't want to go to Tartarus again.
All right, let's look at these exam results. You did fairly well. Uh, let's look at Yukari's. Yukari scored above average. Nice. Let's score at Junpei. Junpei scores quite low. What about Fuka? Fuka did well. Oh, not average, not above average, just well. Is this the Akihiko treatment again? Alright, Mitsuru. Mitsuru scored the highest, naturally. Akihiko did well. Well, what do you mean by well? That, 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 that's my question. What, what do you mean, mean by, by that? Ah, oh, shoot. That reminds me. I, I guess I now have to buy some shit for I guess. Well, considering that I guess doesn't really have any elemental attacks, I could either give her... I could either buy her the stupid um, ch charm accessory, whatever, that makes her dodge electric, but... Uh, power enhancer is also good at the same time. The best defense is a good offense. Kurosawa-san, what's up? New things in here? Well, what do you got? What do you got? And you need a fires from all fingers. Launcher that fires 80 millimeter grenades. Rifle designed to shoot Orgon? Orgon rounds? Whatever. I mean, I guess it's gonna be a lot more easier for me to get shit for Aegis because she's special and that all of her shit is, uh, it's just for her rather than everyone else where, oh. Oh, would you look at that? Everyone now has access to buy their fuck their own fucking swimwear. And for 300k as well, buddy! I know I may look like I have a lot of money, but you do realize how much this is gonna cost in the long run, don't you? I guess I could also buy uh, some gigabands for I guess. That wouldn't be too bad. What would be good for her anyways? A thunder charm increases dodge against electricity. This is the one I was talking about. That could be useful. Wow, that is a lot of endurance right there. I suppose I could get the Giga Band for her strength. That could be useful. Questions, questions, questions. I have no clue what I I have no clue what I should give, I guess. Anything new over here, Theo? No, everything's still the same. Alright. You know, even though the teacher just told him, hey, whoever smoked in that bathroom, we're going to expel him. I'm always surprised to hear Hidetoshi being like, I don't know about that one, chief. Will kicking out the bad kids really help the school? Even I never thought about that to begin with. I always thought, you know, law and order, proper punishment and whatnot. But it never really hit me until, you know, somebody as law and order -ish strict as him was like, Maybe this is too much. So how did you do on your exams? Uh, not bad. That's great. I'm happy for you. Did you see Mitsuru Senpai's score? Wow, she's amazing. In two weeks, the moon will be full again. Dude, those freaks with apathy syndrome will be everywhere. Wait, I mean the lost. I probably shouldn't complain about them since it's not their fault. It's those damn shadows. It is possible to end this. Six shadows remain. If we eliminate them, the dark hour will vanish. Yeah, that's true. What you're trying to say, I guess, is that fighting is more important than studying, right? I agree 100%. That's just his excuse to not study at all. How'd you do on your finals? If you did poorly, you may have to attend summer school. Uh, I did fine. That's very good. Well, let's see how the others did. What if I were to tell you I didn't do so good? I see. Let's just wait and see how the others did. I would have to attend summer school? That's awful! That's actually awful! I've been to summer school before and well... Sometimes it wasn't that bad. It's just the fact that in a video game, you know, where I'm, I'm crammed in time and whatnot, it'd be awful for me to go to summer school. How did you do? Well, don't worry if your grades weren't that good. With everything that's been going on, I'm sure you did the best you could. Oh, what about you, Junpei? <laughs> Exam scores? <laughs> Dude, I don't care about that. Defeating shadows is more important than getting good grades. Any time spent studying could be used to go to Tartarus and... Don't get carried away. You should still study. You can learn from a defeat, but sometimes that is the hardest lesson. Ouch. Well, the exam scores have been posted, so now we can enjoy our summer vacation. Just don't forget to train. I won't, I won't. 
Pixie-san, I have a question. How would you classify the facility known as school? Uh, boring. I must disagree with that assessment. Analyzing your facial expression categorizing school as boring is inaccurate. You're asking me for my opinion. How are you to- Alright, alright. What if I said entertaining? Roger that I will categorize school as entertaining. Are you kidding me? What if I say nothing? I'm sorry, it is inaccurate to categorize school as nothing. Perhaps you should reevaluate your personal classification system. How about you, per Whatever, she's just a robot. She don't know anything. What's up, Fuka? Mitsuru Senpai is amazing. With all that happened, she still managed to do great on her exams. She can filter out distractions and focus on the task at hand. Uh, I wish I could do that. Eh, uh, don't worry, Fuka. I'm pretty sure you're at least doing better than fucking... Junpei over there, and I wouldn't be surprised if you're if you did as good as Akihiko. What about you, I guess? You're not feeling good, you're feeling- you're- I was gonna say you're not feeling great, you're just feeling good. God, everyone's at level 40 and 50 and here she is fucking 29! <laughs> oh, And that reminds me, isn't Ken supposed to be in our dorm? Vacant room, vacant room, Junpei, Akihiko, vacant... Alright then. Dude, summer break starts tomorrow. It's time to meet some cuties at the beach. Uh, good luck to you. Come on, this involves you too, you know. Who knows what might happen for you during summer break. Keep that attitude up and you're gonna miss all those opportunities to meet someone. Oh, fuck off, Edogawa. Oh, I'll stay awake just so I can get the academics. Hello. Uh, about the club, do you know about the fellowship we'll be doing at another school? We'll get to play tennis at a school in the in the countryside. Imagine that fresh air. And at night there'll be delicious food and a hot springs. Doesn't that just sound wonderful? And two days from now, you'll practice here for a week and then leave for the other school. <gasps> oh, what? It seems the club will be meeting at the school two days from now. Oh, wow! Everyone's gone! I'm so depressed to think that I won't be able to see Akihiko Senpai over the summer. <laughs> I'm jealous of the people living in the dorms. You get to see what Akihiko Senpai no matter what. You, Mitsuru Senpai, Yukari san, Fuka san. I don't care who it is. Won't one of you switch places with me? I don't know, that's just an unhealthy obsession. But wow! Everyone's gone! Summer sucks, man. I sweat so much my shirt gets drenched. I I feel you there, G, but then again, that's usually because I'm also at the gym. But the heat over here it can be pretty gnarly. I could I could go with Fuka, or I could go with Maiko. I almost feel like I should probably go with Fuka, just you know, because I know I'm gonna be going with Maiko over the summer break. That also reminds me. Saturday after school. Yawn be gone. I get yawn be gone in every Saturday, so just wait. Is that it? That is basically it. What the fuck? How are you sold out, lady? Oh. It's summer, summer vacation. The shop will be closed for the duration, so I guess that means I don't get paid. Ah, uh, this month is going to be tight. Ouch! 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 That's tough. Alright, this yawn be gone. I'll gladly take it. You never know when you might need it. Hi, Mitsuru. Are you heading home now? Yeah, see you later. Goodbye. Oh, that's right. I could I could start it with Mitsuru. Actually, that might even be more useful than starting it with Fuka. Uh, sure. I suppose we could go. Wanna come? Sorry, I'm busy. I'm going to study for a while before I go back. Make sure you don't neglect on your own studies. I know you have other things to worry about, but studying should be a student's number one priority. Perhaps if you're a genius- Damn it! I must have been thinking of some- I must have been thinking of someone else. Because I know Mitsuru really wanted- really likes high grades. I know that for sure. For fucking sure. I just don't remember if she wanted level 4 or level 3 academics. Because I swear. I remember Makoto in Persona 5, she wanted level 3 academics. 
I guess Mitsuru wants me to even be a more, even bigger genius. And there's no Akihiko, Sag. Fuka, what's up? Actually, first, do I have a priestess? I don't recall if I do. I don't. Hold that thought, Fuka. Alright, Fuka, I'm back. What's up? I'm coming to the cooking club today. Yes, sir, I was able to get the cheapest priestess <laughs> persona that I was able to get. So, let's head out, Fuka. Let's go! I made some chocolate truffles! Poor Fuka, though. She seems to have having a little bit of trouble trying to read ingredients and directions and whatnot. But don't worry, Fuka. I'm the exact same as you. We'll get through this together! What? <laughs> All right, I'm I'm keeping this in. I'm keeping this in. <laughs> Editor, can you um put up the math of how much more a cup is compared to one teaspoon? And she also used the wrong bottle. Uh, don't worry, Fuka. <laughs> don't worry. We'll get through this. to see that you're well. Incidentally, I see that they've again added a new ally to their ranks. Well, I suppose it's more of a pet than an ally. Makes no difference to me. It seems that what you told us before about their intentions was true. How lamentable. Now we have no choice but to intervene. It is up to each individual how he will use the strength granted him. But to erase the dark hour would be denying the very power they possess. We cannot tolerate that. Do whatever you want. Hold it. What are you gonna do? I know they asked you to come back. You're starting to piss me off. They're going down, you hear me? And if you're on their side, then you're going down too. Like I said before, it doesn't concern me. Hello. Oh, would you look at that? Speak of the devil. My name is Kenamata. I'll be staying here for a while. I'll try to stay out of everyone's way, so don't mind me. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're not you're not immediately in our ranks yet. I was wondering I was wondering where the hell you were. Uh Pixie Sun? My name is Kenamata. I'm pleased to meet you. I just moved into the dorm, so I'll be staying here for the summer. Sweet. Ken, huh? Hmm, Ken. I don't know what it is, but there's something about him. Maybe it's that he's more mature than I am. What do you think? <laughs> don't ask me that. <laughs> don't ask me that. The data regarding the newest resident, Ken Amada-san, has been recorded. I'm able to communicate with him at any time. Please permit me to do so. Alright, uh, permission granted. It won't be that bad. Just try to get along with him, okay? He moved into the dorm, but he's not... But he's not a member of C's yet. Don't talk with him about anything regarding shadows. Using the clock to recover won't cost as much today. That's a stroke of luck. Still don't know what that means, Fuka. I'm sorry. Don't you think Ken Kun's cute? Uh What's everyone's status looking like? Everyone can go tonight. Sweet! Um, I'm not gonna go until just yet. Because I want to wait to see if there's anyone who goes missing, so that way we can go in right away. Quiz game! Quiz game! Alright, summer vacation has started. Hello, this is Sayori. I'm not bothering you, am I? Uh, fuck, what do I tell her? And I am kind of tied up. I can't say no to Sayori, can I? What's up? If you're free, do you want to go somewhere? Okay, we can go. Oh, that makes my day. 
I'll see you later then. We can go. Oh fuck, wait! I wanted to go to Tanaka's show first! No! Welcome back. Yay! Yo, can this fucking plane shut up? I'm back, baby. Everyone's so much older than me. I'm a little nervous about living here. Uh, don't worry, Ken. Nothing bad will happen, right? What the fuck? Why is everyone- Why is everyone over here? I've conducted a simulation to predict the outcome. First of all, the lost are a strain of society since they drain resources but are unable to contribute anything. Wow! But that is only the beginning. These individuals also require care, which means many people will quit their jobs in order to attend to them. Fewer and fewer people will be working, so society's productivity will plummet. Eventually, this country will no longer be able to sustain itself, and chaos will result. Holy shit, I guess. Damn, I never thought of that. If that happens, how will I shop at the convenience store? <sighs> I guess the concept is too big for your brain to comprehend. You're an idiot, you know that? <laughs> Damn. I've been thinking. If the number of the lost keeps growing, then won't the country eventually collapse? There's so much riding on our shoulders. <sighs> if this country falls apart, what will happen then? Will Japan be taken over by another nation or... No, I shouldn't think like that. You have to say positive, right? Yeah, positivity. Oh, Fuck off! There's nothing good on. Oh my god! Not to self, never say, never, ever answer the phone on Sundays. Special training for tennis begins today. Oh fuck, that's right. You train all day in preparation for the fellowship on August the first. Oh what? I don't recall it. I don't recall accepting this. Sup, dude? So, how was practice? I'm tired. Dude, don't push yourself too hard. If you think you can handle it, let's go to Tartarus tonight. We have less than two weeks to get ready, and I'm sure the next shadow will be stronger than the last one. Sanada Senpai, you always wear those gloves when you fight, right? I heard you're undefeated with them on. Y yeah, it's no big deal, really. I'm used to girls staring at me, but it's kind of weird when a little kid is doing it. <laughs> Ken respects Akihiko-san so much, but I can totally understand how he feels. I mean, Akihiko-san's won his last 16 boxing matches. Every little kid should look up to him. He's like a hero, don't you think? Totally. <sighs> I wish I was a hero. Junpei, my boy! Everyone here in Seas is heroes, alright? Look, we all got the personas, we're all trying to save people from the from becoming the lost. Don't look at yourself too down like that. Hey, I hope Kenkun won't be involved in this. He might be. That's true. Ikutsuki-san did say he has the potential. But what if I did say he won't? Yeah, maybe I'm worrying too much. I'm so relieved. Thank you. What if I didn't say anything? Okay, she didn't say anything in return. <laughs> I will use a gun during battle. I am not heavily equipped and my damage output and accuracy rating are both average. Because a gun is a long range weapon, I will not fall during an attack. A gun is best suited to those who require stability in their weapon. Oh! Oh! I almost forgot. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. You see, this is why we can't have nice things because nice things like this are fucking expensive. All right, now that we got everything set for Igus, I even decided to buy the Thunder Charm and where is it? The Giga Power Band in the event that I want to switch things out for her. Now that we finally have that, let's see what Game Parade has to offer for us. Print club! Print club! Apathy syndrome is on the rise again, huh? People seem to have calmed down a bit, despite the media. But there will be serious problems if we don't end this. We must defeat the last six shadows, beginning with the one we anticipate on the next full moon. If the number of the lost continues to increase, the city will fall into chaos. 
I don't even want to imagine what that might be like. Well, if you don't want to imagine what that might be like, ask Igis! She's the one who was able to come up with this complicated, yet very accurate description of what the country will look like. You're just exaggerating, right? Then again, maybe not. If the incident occurred because the Kirija group was performing experiments on shadows, then that means that has existed before Tartarus and the Dark Hour even appeared. So then, how long have shadows been around? No, the real question is, how the fuck was Granddaddy Kirijo over there? How the fuck was he able to get his grubby little mitts on shadows? That's what I- that's what I'm curious about. Akihiko Senpai acts differently when Kenkun's around. Have you noticed? Yeah. I wonder why. Maybe he just doesn't get along with kids. I mean, Senpai is kinda awkward in social situations. <laughs> you got that right. But what if I said no? You're kinda slow, huh? Maybe you should pay better attention to social interactions. Are you, you call me socially awkward? Fuck you. It's been a while since we've been here before. Is there is there a new recording? It's a bank of consoles. There seems to be a new recording. Let's watch it, baby. I should have gone for the one piece suit instead. These halter top bikinis look almost like underwear. It feels weird to have my belly button exposed. Now that I think about it, this is my first time choosing my own swimsuit. But there wasn't much of a selection with the one piece ones. I wonder if I should ask Yukari chan for one last opinion. Although. I don't really exercise, so I probably wouldn't look very good standing next to her. Oh, right! I have just the thing! The low-frequency waist slimmer pad I bought from Tanaka's show. It said online it was very effective for its price, so if it helps even a little before we leave... Now, let's see... How do I turn this on? Oh! Oh, no! This... Oh! <laughs> it, it, it tickles! Oh! <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Why won't it come off? <laughs> oh, no! Yamagishi, may I bother you for a second? Oh, <laughs> it's Matsuro Senpai. <laughs> oh, I, I have to answer the door. Yes, I'm, I'm <laughs> coming. Oh, um, did I disturb you? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> it's not that important. Uh, never mind. Just carry on. Oh, <laughs> senpai! <laughs> Is this what it means to train your abs? <laughs> oh, someone help! <laughs> There are some things that I just probably shouldn't see and there there are plenty of reasons why you shouldn't put cameras in other people's rooms. This is one of them. If you want to forget about it, be my guest. Let's just walk outside into Polonia Mall, forgetting everything that we just saw over here. What do we have here in Game Parade? It is nothing but shit. There is Tanaka. But I can feel it in my bones. We're almost about to fucking get this charm up. <sighs> Damn it! Not there yet. Just not there yet. Hi, how is your day? Mitsuru Senpai is not back yet. She said she'd be here by midnight. Maybe we shouldn't go to Tartars tonight. Cool. I want you to know my strengths and weaknesses. 
I am weak against electricity, but incredibly strong against piercing attacks. Yukari-san is also weak against electricity. We have many similarities. Yeah, I at least your at least your fucking endurance is off the fucking levels. Like I'm pretty sure your endurance is higher than Yukari's and she's level 40. Let's see, 23 endurance and compared to your 25 endurance. Would you look at that? What did I say? What the fuck did I say? As I said earlier, we shouldn't go to Tartarus today. I know you want to go because there's going to be a full moon soon, but please forgive me. Damn it, Fuka! Damn it! What about Akihiko and Ken? Where the fuck are those two? Ken? Ken seems to be in his room, but he isn't responding. Akihiko? Akihiko doesn't seem to be in his room. Where the fuck did he go then? Akihiko! I right, see, I guess now has her own room. Glad to see that. It is Wednesday, and you know what Wednesdays mean. <gasps> Quiz game! <laughs> Let's go! What's going on? There's a shadow in the city. Yamagishi found it by chance. But the moon isn't full yet. Actually, it seems to be just a normal shadow. However, it is outside of Tartarus. It's near Naganaki Shrine. Akihiko went ahead since he was in the vicinity. I'm sure he can handle it alone. But let's get ready just in case. Gotcha. Yes, this is Fuka. I'm here. Sorry, but I think you guys better come right away. What's wrong? Is it a powerful one? No, the shadow's been defeated. In fact, it was already defeated when I got here. What happened? The little fellow's been injured. I want to save him if we can. Little fella? Who is he talking about? Beats me. At any rate, let's go. Koro-chan! Are you okay, Koro-chan? You know this dog? Yeah, everyone around here does. We have to help him. First, we must stop the bleeding. Man, he's one tough fighter. He defeated that shadow all by himself. Wait, does that mean that this dog's a Persona user? He says... This is a place of peace, so I protected it. Those flowers. They must be for the priest who died in the accident. So, he really was guarding this place. Uh, I guess. Don't tell me you can translate dog language, too. Canines do not have their own language. However, speech is not the only means of communication. This fella really is a rare breed. Confirmed. He's not the only one. All right, let's report to the chairman so we can conclude this mission. As for a vet, it may be midnight, but I believe I can arrange for one. Good job, boy. You're one amazing dog. Kara 
time. Let's go, baby. I may not be one of a dog person, and you may get, and everyone over here may always hear me complain about the dogs and whatnot outside my building. But I'll give this dog a pass. Let's go, Cordo. One more week until the moon is full again. Unfortunately, the number of victims have been increasing lately. Let's do our best to stop it. It's true. Oh, what about Kur Kuramaru? The veterinarian told me that Kuramaru is in stable condition. The wound was severe, but fortunately there wasn't any damage to his internal organs. Let's go! Hooray! I do not understand the canine language, but I have scanned the image he was sending. I am able to receive similar images from all living things. They are weaker versions of the voice communication human beings use. So wait, are you telling me you can you can read tree language, I guess? Dude, everything's so messed up. First a robot can use a persona and now a dog can? What's next? A monkey? Koromaro's an alpha dog. No, he's a sigma dog. <laughs> he must be a pure breed. I think the Tartarus is a little unstable today. Accidents may be more frequent because of this. Watch out. I heard Korachan is fine now. Do you think the priest who passed away saved him? Definitely. The bond between a human and a pet is so beautiful. Koromaro did great. He protected what he was supposed to protect. He's a good dog. Damn, Akiko. Well, what's, with, what's with the Sag? What's with the Sag face over here? What's wrong? All right, you know what? Even though, even though technically it's the 31st, it's not the 31st, even though technically it's not the 31st, I'm going to go to Taurus anyways, because Fuka did say that there's going to be accidents more prone happening in Taurus. And if there's more accidents prone in Taurus, that means the higher likelihood that I'm going to be able to get gems. To which, to be honest, I want as many gems as I can as possible. That way I'll be able to get as many, many king of coins, king of wands, king of swords, that kind of, that kind of shtick. I want to have as many of them as possible. Oh my god, I didn't expect to come back here so fucking soon already. Alright, I guess. Let's go. I'll show you what I'm made of. You and me, I guess, we're going to be the only ones over here, so you know the drill. I'll be back in... probably... What, a week? <laughs> oh shit, Th th thank god. Oh, I, I literally just stopped recording when I closed that OBS and whatnot, but uh, I just had something to tell me. I'm equipped with a special function. It is called Orgia Mode. Would you like more information on it? Uh, sure. In this mode, my limiter is temporarily disabled. Thus, my offensive capability increases significantly. However, since my inhibition logic is disabled as well, I am entirely autonomous during that time. Furthermore, once Orgia mode has been activated, it cannot be cancelled until I overheat. Then, a cooldown period is required before I can resume normal operation. Orgia mode only lasts for a short while, so timing is crucial. That concludes the tutorial. Would you like me to repeat it? Uh, no, I'm good. The command to activate Orgia mode can be accessed via tactics. Alright, uh, I guess I'm going to need a runaway. Orgia mode! <laughs> Let's do this! I'll show you how powerful I am right now! <laughs> Let's go. Easy. <laughs> Just like that. Paper thin easy. All right, don't worry. I guess we'll level you up as quickly as humanly possible. Let's try let's try on this asshole. Three enemies. They all seem agitated. All right, I guess Orgia mode up the wazoo. Orgia mode. 
All right, uh, this should be a lot more quicker than I anticipated. Anyways, like I said before, I'll see you once I'm actually done. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back, and as you can see, I guess is level 40 indeed. We got the whole squad up here in level 40s. I'm level 54. I'm just overpowered as shit. And uh, yeah, let's just get out of here because there is nothing left for me to do over here. And someone's presence. Good evening. God damn it. It's becoming quite lively around you. It has, but that doesn't mean that you can just show up. So, how are you getting along with the others? I mean, I'm, 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 I'm I can't I can't complain. I can't I'm complain. Glad to hear that. It is one week until the next full moon. Are you prepared? To be honest, I'm not too worried about you. Neither am I. <laughs> However, you should still remain cautious. All right, you know what? I'll actually take that to heart, just because I did switch to manic. I'll come to see you again. Well, actually, not manic, maniac. Oh my god, the stupid training is gonna be the end of me. Oh hey. Have you looked around lately? The lost are everywhere. My friends get scared when they see them. People don't even feel safe walking around town. We have to do something about it. Don't you dare tell me where you're going to Tartarus today, because we're not- I'm not taking any of your old bitch asses to Tartarus. I think that Tartarus is a little unstable today. Accidents might be more frequent. Oh, gee, you don't say. How is everyone? Everyone can go tonight? What the fuck? You all stay up so late. I try to stay up as late as you guys, but I'm always the first one to fall asleep. You know what? I, I don't blame you, buddy. What do you guys do when you're up so late? Oh fuck me, we gotta do we gotta do studying. Wow, high school must be really hard. But what if I tell you that we're just goofing off? Are you sure you should be doing that? If you stay up late goofing off, you're going to fall asleep during class. It depends on what class it is, honestly. Like I've slept through a lot of classes before. Not so much during my college years, definitely during my high school years. Because at least in college, I'm fucking paying for my classes, so, you know, there's no point in me, like, falling asleep or whatnot. But again, it all just depends on the class. So what you're saying is that I'm just a kid. I mean... We are doing a bit more mature activities. And I mean, you are a kid, so... Well, you're not that much older than me, you know? Well, yeah, but like, you're still a kid, so... I heard that there was a dog that can use a persona. I've been researching the possibility for a long time, but I never thought it was true. I mean, can you imagine a dog using a persona? A dog? I'm petrified. Oh, you read my mind. Hmm, I didn't know you were so funny. You're damn right, I do love me some good dad jokes. But what if I told you, how can a dog? Well, it's nothing to be concerned about. Having anxiety at such a young age will only lead to problems down the road. Buddy, you're telling us that we need to save the world. Of course we're all going to be fucking anxious over here. God, I have no... <laughs> Is that a... Did that person change clothes? I swear, I, f I don't remember her in those uh, green clothes. Is there anyone missing? Please tell me that there, Please tell me that there isn't. No one. Okay, good, 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 good. Because I do not want to go back to Tartarus. Actually, how many gems did I actually pick up? I mean, if I want to get more best friends, I can. I like best friends and condenser. Holy shit, that's a lot more amethyst than I remember. Well, as well not. I'm not gonna. I don't want to make these to waste or whatnot. Might as well, you know, start trading them. Wow, that is quite a lot. But you know what? I'll gladly take these. Well, there goes all my onyx. Fuck. What can I get now? I can get boosts? Nah. Autos? Nah. Nulls? Nah. I'd be lying if I didn't say that I just kind of want to burn it all in a lot of cadenzas. That'd be dope. Actually, whoa, whoa, not wrong one, wrong one. This one. I'll get a few more best friends. 
Now there's nothing wrong with me being able to use Heat Riser, although I am running a little bit low on Topaz. I feel like I should definitely invest in these more. Fear Sutras and Protection Sutras. Maybe a little bit more agility as well, just because if I ever need anyone else other than myself to ra raise agility, then I'll do it, because again, Cadenza. I think I might just keep the 5 that I have over here for now and just get like, I don't know, 10 more. I don't know if I want to get 10 more, maybe 20 more. <laughs> I definitely have uh, enough Amethyst and Aquamarines up the wazoo, so not like I'm missing out. There we go, uh, 20 Fear Sutras, 10 Agilities, and 20 Protections. I could get more Megiddo Gems, but do I really want to? The only reason why I would ever want to use them is for the uh, stupid Golden Hands, and well, I, I get more than enough. Tresto Gems, I'm not, I don't need them too much right now. Charfuri Gems, I actually haven't used them at all yet. Well... It just means I need to get more cadenzas. I'd be lying to you if I didn't say that what I just want to do is burn a lot of these malachites. Because malachites are the ones that I always get the most of. Amethyst was also quite a lot too. And uh, turquoise and aquamarine as well. I guess I could get 10 more of these. Still have a need to use Dekunda or Dekaja. I really wish I could be able to at least get some like... Homunculus, I still don't know how to pronounce that. Nine still seems like a lot, but you know, you never know. You actually never know. A bean and B chain doesn't sound that bad. I couldn't get a few beads. There, not it's not too much and yet not too little. That should be everything for now, unless Kurosawa san, do you have anything new for me? No, you don't. But, I believe I do have some a few things for you. <laughs> God damn these these prices! Holy shit! I haven't even I haven't even sold everything in yet. Look at how much I'm getting back! Oh my god, this is luxury. All right, that should be enough, right? Yeah, that should be enough. Thank you very much, Officer Kurosawa. I don't see President Tanaka here anywhere, so what do we have here in game night? Or game parade? Come on, dude! You could have at least given me print club! Oh, I'm so- I, I, I can feel it. I'm so close. I'm so fucking close. Come on now, don't feel me, baby! Come on, come on, come on. At, at least- Give me Max, give me Max, alright? It's for the end of the video, it's for the end of the video. Come on, come on, baby, come on! Come on! No! Oh. And I'm still tired. Holy shit, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're joking me. We're doing a scene right now? Alright, well, uh, editor, uh, can you just add in the FEMC over here? Alright. Hi guys, it's me. I'm finally looking at you. You see the date. You know what time it is. It's time for me to head out once again. Anyways, my name is Pixel Love. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody.